We're using purple. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's a, that's a good number of points. That's, that's, that's good. That's good. Why do you guys do shit? Every time you roll, the spirits have to come and watch. And like, when you roll for nothing, they're like, "Fuck you." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, 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 no. You, you, you don't, don't get to guess your fucking probability. Yeah. It just happens. <laughs> <laughs> My first roll was in that one. Good. Every time you We're roll, the universe yeah. has to do a little calculation. It's just for nothing. It's like fuck you. Commit. But, but commit. Spit, spit that. Spit that out right. Now. I'll do it with you right now. Come on. <laughs> no, that does not mean that's killing. <laughs> it's just so many. I just put one. You put so many in your mouth. <laughs> And I put them all back in the cup. <laughs> what is this like? I feel like that's going to be a great intro. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that's something. That much time, motherfuckers. Sandwich. Sandwich. Hello, everybody, and welcome to DC5. I am going to be your uh, DM for this little campaign going on. I'm Day Albright, and please welcome our intrepid investigators. Say hi, intrepid investigators. Hi, hi. intrepid investigators. investigators. Wonderful. Wow. I'm going to have to say that multiple times. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, really speed run. <laughs> yeah, I've got to learn to speed run every day, I guess. today's session, zooming in on the world of Eberron, various rings of golden light circling the planet as the various moons cycle in and out of orbit, we zoom in on the continent of Corvair and into the city of Sharn. Spanning only maybe like a couple miles across in diameter, but a mile high into the sky as it is a sort of cold winter day, um, standing at about like 9 a.m., and we're going to start off with a uh, check. It is going to be about an hour until your meeting at Ferris Finders. You've gotten a, um, basically a card saying, like, hey, we need some help. Please show up at this time. you got about an hour until then. What are you doing? Um, probably just cleaning up my investigator's office and then maybe head down and grab a cup of joe. Okay. What's, uh, what's the flavor of nicotine today? I think we're going with our standard, you know, basic cigarettes <laughs> from a <laughs> from nice case. Basics yes. are, are no. Benson mm -hmm. and Hedges Super Virginia cigarettes. <laughs> super Virginia. Super, super Virginia. 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 Extra, As opposed to <laughs> Ultra Virginia. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about any of that Mothman West Virginia crap. It's Super Virginia. Super Virginia. I love that Dragon Ball character. Extra Virginia cigarette. Extra Virginia. Extra Virginia olive oil. Thank you. That's exactly what I was going for. Yep. Um, so yeah, just cleaning up the office. Just a bunch of other case files that you yeah, have on your desk. Yeah, just making sure that all the cases I have are pretty closed out. The ones that are done, cleaning up, putting those away. Making sure that, you know, I don't have anything mm -hmm. solved still out. Fair enough. Want to make sure everything's closed before you get lines crossed into another exactly. investigation. Got it. All right. Um, after cleaning up your office, you're going to head on over to the Ferris Finders out, uh, office in the middle north edge district of Sharn. Uh, it's a bit of a cold day. What is, uh, what is your character, what does your character look like? Uh, pretty standard, I'd say, private eye attire. You know, you've got your just button-up tie, especially because I'm going to be going to meet a different uh, agency today. I'm going to try to look a little nice. Mm -hmm. So pretty cleaned up, you know, nice button-up, suspenders, tie, cool. slats, and then a uh, nice windbreaker trench coat. We got a belt. Sounds good. Awesome. Belt and suspenders. Belt. Yes. You, you can't be too sure. <laughs> I gotta make sure. We're hey, running. super <laughs> virgin. Okay. Never again. Never again. Never again. <laughs> All right. Um, as you uh, walk your way over to the uh, North Edge uh, District, uh, we're going to turn over to Christian. What is your character doing? It's about an hour until your meeting. Hmm. 
opinion, Chase Howard. Probably an hour before the meeting, and not too much is going on. Probably just like in his, in his apartment. <laughs> like, I don't think he'd be doing a job this close to another job. Okay. So he's probably just chilling, maybe like a mixer over here, and that's kind of about it. Cool. Got a morning cocktail going or anything? Morning like cocktail, he's he going to have a morning, you know? <laughs> <laughs> morning what, like what is the. Uh, we going for something fruity, something sweet, something just hard and wake you up real quick? Just an old fashioned whiskey, you know, just hmm. light. <laughs> Fair. Yes, light whiskey. It's a very easy. <laughs> but I think he would be dressed, so he's got, you know, just very easy classic, you know, kind of button up, long sleeve, uh, vest, pants, and, and that's probably about all he's got on him. All right. Yeah. Maybe cold is cool. Cool. Um. What is this sort of style of your apartment got going on? Are we looking at more of a modest building, or are you just kind of in like a safe house mm -hmm. right now? It is very uh, bachelor pad, but in a way that there are very few furniture items. <laughs> it's like, we got a bed, the bed's really nice, it's, that's it, and then we have the couch, and the couch is nice, and that's, there we go. Like, <laughs> That's all you need. Maybe like a po or like achievements. If I had gotten like you know some like some kind of coaster. Sorry, like, you're like propped against the wall. Yeah, it's like there. You know, it's like I didn't throw it away. But, or like, I don't know where to put it. So it's like kind of just around. Okay, like, important story. question. This will this will be on the final exam. Uh, is the mattress on the ground or does it have box spots? I was gonna ask. Is the there a frame? Yeah, it's, it's, is how there a frame? How is that right? How are we going? It, it, it's on a. It's on a. Frame. It's on it's on it has a box frame. Does it have a headboard? It has a headboard. Okay. You dog! Oh. You, you splurged on the bed and everything else is bare wall. I think it came like that. came like a package of the whole thing. I was okay. Like, sure, and I just like. <laughs> I was like, all right. Yep. That's it. Yep. That's all the uh, decorating. It would be too much work to take it apart and just have a mattress on the floor, so I just put it back. Yeah. So, wait, you would rather have a mattress on the floor? No. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's, it's the, the, the lowest effort thing. Low yeah. effort. Yeah. <laughs> Proper bachelor pad. Yeah. <laughs> Not a one visit of just me. <laughs> mm. No visit. No visit. No visit. up, making sure you look at least presentable to a degree. Mm -hmm. uh, you close the door to your apartment and you head out into the streets of Sharn. Um, any sort of pit stops you make along the way, trying to get any newspapers or just... Yeah, I'll take a newspaper. Cool. Hey. Always up on the news. Yeah. Um, I guess if I get it. Well. You get more gossip than any of us. There's a yeah. reason I hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> you're robotic. Yeah. Unless you're bad at your job. She doesn't know what they do. Water, yeah. <laughs> 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 water. Yeah. So I'll drink of water, please. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, up on the rocks. <laughs> oh, schmancy. Um, and as <laughs> so nice one. Can you garnish that with a bit of mint and a lemon? <laughs> and as you walk down the streets of Sharn, passing by some newspapers and some various flying carriages going through the towers mm -hmm. of the city, um, we're going to pan over to Matt, your character. It's about an hour before your meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? Uh, is it is it early? Like, it uh, is currently 9 a.m. 9 a.m. That's breakfast so, right there. So yeah, I am at Ruby uh, really any cafe, diner, whatever we'll do. Mm -hmm. Sitting down at probably the the bar counter. All right. You know, I'm imagining I have a Waffle House in my head. You know, <laughs> so I'm sitting at the counter of a Waffle House. Got black coffee. Got cigarette hanging out of an ashtray. It's kind of there. Paper in front of me. And I have a little 
a little mini Belgian waffle for, for my for my dragon, my pseudo dragon. <laughs> so the cook in the back, the reason you're a crooked cop, you can't have him go to jail, he makes the best waffles. I can't have that man go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> this, I cannot. This man's waffles are too good. <laughs> my life will be over. <laughs> Listen, sometimes the best pancakes are the ones you get from the fronts for the mafia, okay? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> it's uh, not my uh, fault. If wrong real estate ever goes down, that's it, I'm done. Right. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> off, I'm off. I'm so not, like, that's not my fault. <laughs> Mom even looks that direction, that's it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, just, just, you know, kind of a hardened expression, reading the paper, kind of just like, yeah. as you know, the drag. My pseudo dragon Jericho is just munching on the waffle, you know. Have my hat off, of course, because I'm inside and want to be respectful. Ah, sure. And I'm just, <laughs> just kind of killing time, kind of judging when I when I would need to head out to hit the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can imagine it take about thirty minutes from where the diner is currently over to the office that you're supposed to head to. Right. Yeah. Um, so you're sitting down having a nice uh, breakfast uh, with. with with uh, your little pseudo dragon. What's your pseudo dragon look like? Uh, my pseudo dragon Jericho is essentially a mini red dragon. Mm. So, you know, nice crimson scarlet scales running all the way up. I uh, got, of course, that little uh, barbed tail at the very end with the stinger. Mm -hmm. you know? And then on the, you know, the head has like the two uh, red dragon like horns kind of going back. You know, very prominent in the red dragon yeah. you know, species, identifies them as a red dragon. Mm -hmm. Other than that, just like, you know, tiny, tiny, little, little dragon, you know? Yeah. Why is it a pseudo-dragon? It's not it's a real dragon? It wasn't allowed to have a full-size dragon in the diner. I just parked that one outside. Yeah, yeah, no, those are sentient I, beings. I those are, uh, they just frowned upon to own other sapient species <laughs> as pets. So it looks like a dragon. Yeah. But it's really kind of just a big magic lizard. No, it's, it's like a cat with a stinger tail. Yes. It's cat size. So cat. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, yes. Known prominent <laughs> feature of cats. <laughs> stinger tails. <laughs> yeah. I guess the more accurate. Damn, I guess I got the fucking uh, bootleg versions of cats. I don't know where you'll get those. You don't get the, the spines on the back. And... The more accurate description should be pygmy dragon, because they're just small dragons, but. Mm. Yeah. Just a little dragon. Yeah. He likes waffles. Not pancakes. I made that mistake once. <laughs> just once. <laughs> waffles. <No>. Okay. <laughs> just reading the morning paper, ordered some pancakes, suddenly there was no morning paper anymore. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I see. Pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, you know. Here we Not really doing too much. You know, I'm just <laughs> taking in the news, seeing what's public today. Yeah. Um, public affairs today uh, seems to be a ushering in the new year. A um, couple of small celebrations happening. Um, seems people are going to be preparing for a like next month's gala event that's going to be happening in like the upper cloud districts. Um, so mm. folks, uh, like despite the fact that the last gala has already ended. They're still planning for the next one. Of course. It, it's like people who plan for Christmas in the middle of July. No, naturally. Or like our Met Gala in real life. <laughs> or the Met Gala in real life, absolutely. If the Met Gala was every month. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. So Bridgerton, Bridgerton rules. Bridgerton rules. Yeah. Bridgerton yeah. rules. Yeah. Bridgerton yeah. This party's over, but then we have this party. But then we have this party. Oh, my God. It's a my best fake mustache. <laughs> Now, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, as you sit in reading the newspapers, taking in your uh, morning pancakes, we're going to zoom out of the uh, small diner that you're in, pan across over to uh, Chad. What is your character doing? You've got about an hour until your meeting. Yeah, uh, I probably found. Oh my God, you broke this. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, I, I, I had like, problems. <laughs> 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 uh, but like two blocks, maybe like away from the meeting spot, mm -hmm. I'd be like stumbling and just be like, this is a good spot, and I'd just like set up my like tarot slash gambling spot, see if there's anyone to hustle or anything. <laughs> Can I use this time, ten minutes before I go in, to ritually cast Unseen Servant? So when I'm like doing stuff, like I'm trying to get 
to pinch pocket people. Yeah. So I have him up, but then I'm like, I'm about to go to a meeting. Maybe I'll just have this guy hanging behind me. <laughs> I allow it. Yeah. You got some fancy flavor going on. Uh -huh. um, but you know what I mean? I'm seeing if there's anyone else. And it's yeah. 9 a.m., I'm not assuming. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. Um, and you're in the middle district at 9 a.m., so it's kind of like, there's a couple people out, but it's it's middle class. There's probably a lot of people. At least no one's gonna like shoot me away, right? It's like no. right now. You know I mean? That's my biggest thing. Is like I don't want to be like. I'm yeah. just like don't see me. Like I'm not actually trying to hustle people. Mm -hmm. right. Shit. Like what are you gonna do? Mug a newsie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are plenty of street vendors. Give me those fifty cents. It's funny you say. Get out of here, little Tommy. This is my block. My my characters do have a weird tendency to kidnap kids. What an odd or to episode. almost kidnap kids. No. Okay. <laughs> it's on your campaign. Say psych right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never mind. I'm oh, fine. Oh, you didn't kidnap him though. You just intimidated him. Kidnap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that was not on record. Just for you know. <laughs> the laundry uh, going. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, now uh, I'm going to say. <laughs> What does your character look like right now oh. as they are setting up the unseen servant yeah. in your little Yeah, He is uh, dressed den. like Jimi Hendrix. He <laughs> has a, like a purple coat that's like deep V'd, rough feather, you know what I mean? Like ruffled, oh, yeah. like Yeah, ruffled, ruffled deep donuts. V, tons of necklaces, <laughs> right? They're like probably fake golds mm -hmm. and real golds. His neck is green. <laughs> <laughs> His, oh, he's this wearing a race rate, this is just yeah, he's wearing Vegas. gaudy rings, yeah. right? They're big and they're ugly, but none of them actually have real gems in them, right? right. There's like one that he has stolen off someone's finger that he doesn't know is real, right? <laughs> but like, they're like, you can get them from Hot Top. They're big and like just yeah. fire. And oh, yeah. if he took them off, his fingers are green. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, there is so much green going on in your body <laughs> that people wonder if you're a and half like, every, Yeah, everything's fake on him, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, the coat yeah. is like... Shiny, but fake. Yeah, yeah. Um... Fair. What's your little uh, tent look like as you're setting it up? Oh, or is it just like a little table? It's just a table. Just a table? Cool. Beautiful. Alright. Easier to move. stable. Yeah. <laughs> Easier to <laughs> move with the <laughs> table. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm just carrying. I don't even know that. I'm just imagining like a briefcase that folds out. Yeah. And yeah. Like, yeah. That way you can just like, shit. Thank you. There we go. I can't it up ever. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of folks on the street, but you're able to pull over like maybe a few folk, but 9 a.m. on like a Tuesday. You're heading away. Yeah. I'll read your fortune. Yeah. Not for peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheap currency is in this world. Read your horoscope. Is that a ray? Yeah. That's not a horoscope. Two <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. As you're there setting up your shop, shuffling your cards, getting your little unseen servant out and about, looking for some fresh pockets to pick, uh, we're going to pan over to Ali, your character. What is your character doing an hour before the meeting? Uh, <laughs> Hannah, staking of Scarlet, is, um, it's 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. She just woke up. Good. She, she's like crawling out of bed because the birds outside were too loud. You know, not because of any alarm that she might have had. No. No, 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 no. She just, and then eat shit, falls on the floor, <laughs> and is starting to get up and get ready for her day. Sounds good. Making yourself any, like, sort of breakfast, or is it just, like, a cup of coffee, swig of, swig of gin, just, yep. let's go. Yep, absolutely. No, it's not even coffee. Yeah, it, is like, it is like a shot of espresso and then a shot of whiskey. There you Just go. Just one right after the other. The whiskey is the chaser yes. for the espresso. <laughs> yes. And then she's making herself a big, like, like Starbucks gaudy espresso drink for, like, so she could drink on the way down. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does your character look like as they're getting ready for the day? Um, there's, if there's no one around. Correct. This is, I assume, your private home. Yes. Or apartment or... Right. Or like, this is green a room. private area. Yeah, right. there's a yeah, private she, area. Um, uh, I like to think she, she wakes up, her skin is completely white, like a sheet of paper. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with, uh, with her hair and everything else. You can only tell her features because of like the shadow that they cast on her face. Right. And as she hits the floor, 
her facial features go to like one person and another person and the second person and the fourth person. Like she's like going between all of them and mm -hmm. like ah, you know. All right, she's like, hold well, up, uh, who's at the front right now? Yeah. <laughs> Who do I need to be? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and so uh, that and that's why she 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 gets up and knowing that uh, Scarlet is the one who's supposed to be there, mm -hmm. uh, or like you know Scarlet is the one who was invited. Right. She starts to like poof up the hair and like make sure her face is you know the right consistency. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the right body <laughs> shape. Yes. Right. What were Scarlet's bones? Oh yes. <laughs> so, are you putting on makeup, or are you using your changeling magic in order to uh, put on the various... Mostly uh, mostly changeling magic, because if she puts on makeup right now, and then she needs to turn into someone else, that other person's going to have that makeup on. <laughs> and what if it's Splice, and he doesn't wear makeup? People would think he looks super fucking cool. Maybe. Yeah, he I looks don't know. Like, that's like his job, but like, still, you know? We have to say something, right? <laughs> yeah, you know? Exactly. It's like it's like a whole thing. So yeah, she just you know it's just like this form just like has like smoky eye essentially. Sounds Amazing. good. You know, so she's just like touching up, making sure everything's all nice and pretty. Yeah. All right. Gets her big fucking Stanley cup of espresso. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hell yeah, had a caffeine addiction. I love this bitch. <laughs> and uh, what's the outfit for today? Um, she's. Oh, that's a good question. For the fan art, for the fan art. For the fan art, for the fan art. She's <laughs> not in, like, full glam just yet, mm -hmm. right? So it's absolutely, she's wearing, like, those big, like, chunky sunglasses, you know, where it's like, oh my god, I hope no one recognizes me, you know? One the, of, like, uh, 1920s starlet. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, she's got, like, the, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the scarf over her hair, right. you know, and she uh, she's wearing, like, a little uh, pencil skirt. Pepper. Audrey yes, Audrey Hepburn, yes. Yeah. Very Audrey Hepburn esque. Yeah. Alright. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gotta go incognito as yeah. best you can. Oh my god. She thinks she's way more popular than she actually is. <laughs> she, you sing at one pretty good nightclub. You sing at a decent nightclub that's in like the middle district. It's more like, a, oh hey, I recognize you. Oh my and god. She's like, oh my god, I'm the biggest fan. <laughs> that's, that's what she sees. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, they love me. Oh they love me. <laughs> All right. So, as you're getting ready, we're going to sort of fly out of the window perspective and head, and we zoom in on the office for Ferris Finders, a local investigation agency within the North Edge District. Um, and for Adonis. You're like already outside the place, right? Just yeah, like, two, maybe a block down. Yeah, two and a half blocks, two blocks. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that you would push your time just until the end, or are you trying to get there early? Oh, I'm in no rush. I'm not gonna get there early. Fair enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody's ever early. Yeah, you know what I mean. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. All right. Um, so, question amongst all five of you: Who's getting there first? I'm early. Not me. I'm like. This is a job, I'm gonna be very professional. <laughs> like, either right on the dot or like five minutes before, probably. Sounds good. All I'm right. definitely on the dot. Yeah. All right. Like, I'll wait a minute to make sure that I'm exactly on time. Good. Uh, for Robin, what time do you think you were trying to show up? Probably like a cool 10 minutes after I'm supposed to be. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Tight Pushing the envelope. Uh, <laughs> a tight, 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 t
Chase and Ruby, you see Scarlet come in and do that the first time, and it's just like, God damn it, not everyone's here. <laughs> That's gonna be my best version. I believe we're still waiting on one more. But, uh, <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. My name's Ruby Andrews. Hmm? She was about to walk out. What? The, I would like it. I feel like the pleasure is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't listening. I wasn't, I wasn't I wasn't list. Sorry, you said Adonis? Adonis Franklin. Lovely service. to meet you. I wasn't, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Ruby. Ruby. Yes. Like the gem. Yes. Oh my god, I love that for you. And you are. Scarlet. You know what you're going to me? Lovely to meet you, Miss Scarlet. I do believe I've seen you perform at a club once or twice. Oh my gosh. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever work with this day? You're like, oh, yeah. Go to my club. Hey, Julia <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is this broad? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is broad? <laughs> nah, 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 you got with a dame over here. I'm gonna hit you with broad. <laughs> I'm respectful to women. As <laughs> <laughs> And then you're like, oh my god, what's so nice to be here? And then she's gonna like walk out to chase, like, whatever. Right so what the fuck are we doing here? Well, good to see you again, too, Miss Scarlett. <laughs> no, I don't know what we're doing here, but. And a lot of the people I uh, talk to are here too. Mm -hmm. These are your friends? Yeah. I know you have those. I got a lot of friends. That's crazy. So many. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. What are you doing here though? I don't fucking know. the entertainment? No. <laughs> not the entertainment. Uh, 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 despite you having the stuff, I don't know. Just, I'm not dressed up. I'm undercover. Obviously, well, you look good. Thank you. You look amazing as always. I'm just like, right, as they're you? figuring out who's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a, I mean, you are not the only person fact, smoking in this building. Yeah, in fact, just, the receptionist yeah. also has a fat cigar. Just a girl from my old time. Oh, she's she's meeting here. I don't know. Do you know that one? Adonis? Oh, you do. Oh, I've met you. Yeah, he's my best friend in the whole world. Wait, I'm going to pretend like I don't know you guys. Chase Hillsport? You're not fun. How about this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At about this time, this is probably when Robin so comes in. Oh. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, yeah, just the four of us and then the receptionist of Harry. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirts on. You know, just trudge inside. You all very distinctly hear the jingling of, like, not the jingling, but like, the clanking of what appears to be a very ornate lamp just on my head. <laughs> As I walk in, like, like, uh, jacket over shoulder, dragon around neck, just kind of like, seems to be napping, but just kind of like there, just like, I was just walking in, still got the hat on, still got the cigarette, just hanging on my, hanging out of my mouth. It's not that early in the morning. You told me with that habit. Yeah, I could have smoked when I sleep. <laughs> you know, it's really bad for the vocal cords. You just put it on your head? I'm a dragon. <laughs> You're weird, I like you! Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I should've clarified I'm a tiefling. <laughs> I, I, should've, I, I was kind of just like, like what? I was thinking that the artwork would show, you know, everyone what I look That's like, bad. and then I forgot to tell <laughs> you all what yeah, I look like. This is slightly important to Oh my god, wait, is that the character? Wow, that's beautiful! <laughs> wow, who wow. did that? Who created that? Oh my, oh my god, god. Yeah. it's too, that's too fair. Neither of you said who you were either, so I guess for clarity's sake... Oh yeah. I, mean, I didn't say my name, I just described it. You tell us what you look like. I did? I said I was like, buzzing up in the best. Yeah, I told you what you were wearing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then you get it. Then, <laughs> then for clarity's sake. Look, I mean, man, I don't speak deep speech. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'm a dapperly dressed tiefling. I have uh, my horns. They're very short, very simple. They just go from like here and then just straight back into little points. You know, there's no curls, there's no loops. Just very, just, you know. Uh, like skin tone wise, very human, honestly enough. I look look very much like a human except that the eyes are, you know, pupilless and I of course I have the horns. Other than that, you know, very smart suit. I see, going for the PHB color scheme. Of course, naturally. <laughs> naturally, you know, it's like, yeah, they, they, you know, they can have human skin tones, you know, just blues and greens are off the table, like, says who? Who decided that? Meanwhile the artwork is purple. I mean, our work is purple. What is your work? You're not my boss, you come with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll just, you know, I'll strut in, I'll find a place. If there's no place to sit, then, you know, I'm just gonna 
lean against a pillar or whatever. Are we in like an office room or like? Yeah. It's like room? the open. It's like the receptionist area. Essentially, there is a uh, middle-aged gnomish woman mm-hmm. just with a fat cigar in her mouth, just oh, like naturally. Naturally. You little folks here for Titus Ferris. I fucking guess. Uh, yes. Okay, then I flag. As she like starts clicking through some notes, just like, yeah, one second. Uh, which one's you? Ruby Andrews. Ruby Andrews. Okay. And uh, you? Uh, Chase Howard. Chase Howard. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. Who are you? Detective Cruz. This is my bond in Jericho. Alright. Hey, you got a permit for that? Is that like a service animal or a... Uh, familiar? Familiar. Hey, uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, you... Wow. Adonis Franklin at your service. I'm like leaned over, like... <laughs> smoozing her. <laughs> 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 I love that. Schmooze! Schmooze for your life! Oh, how are you? Doing much better now. <laughs> well, don't you know how to make a girl feel young? <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ferris didn't exactly include uh, any sort of, uh, sort of contact information for most folks. You got a way that I can uh, oh, like, write down the or something? Oh, yeah. dog! Like, uh, out of, like, you know what I mean, the sleeve? <laughs> God dang. <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's not playing hard, hard, but it is written uh, an, an address. Good. Oh. It is written an address. <laughs> Thank you very much for this information, Mr. Franklin. Oh, my Please call me Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> Adonis, I told you to keep your shit on. <laughs> uh, quick question. What is everyone's passive perceptions? Uh, uh, it says 12. Eight. It says 21. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> it's 10 plus whatever your perception is. Oh, you took observant, I guess. I did take observant. Oh, so I'm just... Oh, actually, yeah, it's so it's really high. Yes. <laughs> really high. She's so I believe it's like a plus 5, plus your proficiency, plus 10. Like, whatever your proficiency bonus for uh, perception is. Yeah, so 17. I got a 13 for Chase, 12 for, 17 for Chase, uh, 12 for Don. 17. Cool. And 20 for Scarlet. And 19. 19. 19. You know, you have to go at home. At home. Uh, I'm at home. I feel home. like this does make a little bit of sense. <laughs> as, uh, Don, you're kind of like kind of like smoozing with yourself, you're really feeling good about yeah. this. Everyone else, you actively see her write a little heart next to uh, Donna's uh, name on Hell the yeah. ledger. Yeah. I sound like... Oh. And, um... Will you? Hannah. Scarlet. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got it under Hannah here. There you go. Alright, yep. Mr. Ferris is in his office. You're gonna head down that hallway, second door on the left. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> now in the morning, I'm already flirting. Come on, you couldn't keep it in your pants for yeah, like 20 minutes. Why? <laughs> she was nice. I mean, I really like the hustle, but like, she doesn't have any money. She, I think she's. Cool. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think I mean? Yes. <laughs> 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 you don't think I respect women? Age. You really think you can do anything hey, on her? Look, game respects game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, notably, this was a gnome. She's probably in her 400s uh, by her looks. Man. <laughs> you don't know me, son! Oh, no! That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Jonas said I heart milfs. <laughs> At that point, we're bordering <laughs> on G, like, three I G's in a gilf. <laughs> Everyone deserves love. <laughs> Absolutely. Even known gilfs. Yeah, Even known gilfs. <laughs> <laughs> was there? Was, I, the I know I didn't see her right the heart. Did I see maybe anything else on her desk? As I lean forward and I'm uh, looking down at her. You sneaky bastard! Investigation or perception of your choice. Another angle. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm also, Chase is like weird too. Yeah, Chase, is, Chase is like a, a dude. I'm just a guy. Just a guy. I'm just a guy. Just a guy. Christian in every campaign. That's a guy. It's fine. Um, <laughs> as you all take to your spots, um, are you still perched on the desk? Oh, absolutely. Except even better, she's now crossed her legs and like leaned back on one arm. <laughs> like, How can I help you? Hannah. Yes. Adonis, Robin, Chase, Ruby. Correct. All right. Now, I'm going to be blunt with you. Y'all are a bunch of motley crew of some unconventional people, but I'm going to need some outside help for something. You need our help this time. I'll help it. More than likely. So. I don't know what I'll be able to help with, but I'll try my best. Well, hmm. What kind of fix you got yourself in? Yeah. I don't have the worst fix going on right now. What I had was a couple of detectives working the case. It's North Edge. It's a residential district. Most folk don't have anything going on suspecting that their spouses are cheating on them or maybe a little bit of embezzlement. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. So, a couple of detectives go on a case for one of those more noble families in the upper district. Supposedly, wife thinks that the husband's cheating on her, having an affair. Lots of money's getting spent, not seeing it come back to the house. So, hires us to try to get some uh, information. Case hasn't been going on a week, and already my three detectives have gone missing. Hmm. Very unconventional. Now... As I said, it's it's a residential district. Most folk aren't supposed to go disappearing, especially not detectives. So, instead of me trying to risk any more of my employees from going out and potentially getting lost... So you'd rather risk us? And I'd love to get lost. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, I see nice where I rank on your little book of grudges. Wow. A little bit. But... It mostly comes down to the fact that most of my crew is a bunch of middle to upper class folk looking for an easy gig. And I understand you three are a little less conventional. If I have this information right for Miss Andrews, Bit of a private investigator, but mostly works in rough and tumble areas. Is that more correct? I get work. Ominous. <laughs> Mr. Howard. Now I have here that you were working at the Club Clawfoot a couple of weeks ago, right before that big explosion happened. Yeah. And surprisingly, you weren't there in the aftermath. Yeah, well, but I left. It was a big explosion. You think I want to stay there? Mm, yeah, but not even for questioning? Not even for potential employee benefits? I Nothing like that? I they got there. Why well, was I going to go home? Mm -hmm. I've seen you hanging around Lower Dura before. I have a feeling of what your contacts are like, Mr. Howard. Hey, I go where the work is. Nothing wrong with that. And that's why I hired you. Now, Miss Dur Caruss. Mr. Dirk. <laughs> it's my understanding that you work within Charm Watch, but you have taken a couple of side practices, is that correct? I dabble. Dabble. Wonderful. It's my understanding that at the very least having you and Miss Andrews here on the case, having some actual detective expertise would be beneficial, and hopefully keeping other members of the crew in line, like Mr. Franklin over here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In the sense that he's him. standing upright right now. <laughs> That's about as upstanding as I trust that man. So you're saying two detectives on the case that requires detective work is going to make it actually work? 
I'm, on I'm top of keeping together the more criminal aspects of the group. Yeah, Dawn. Dawn. Somebody yeah. needs some handlers. Oh, I did exception with <laughs> that. It was a compliment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying yeah, like Robin's the one you gotta look out for. Now, Miss oh, Hannah, I that so bad. <laughs> you're a bit more of a unique pers perspective on this. Yeah, I was you happen to know one of the detectives who went missing. The three detectives that I had on this case were Detectives Callum, Detective Arya, and Detec Detective Shariza. It is to my knowledge that you knew Miss Shariza during your old band troop. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Mm-hmm. She's already told me about it for a little bit of her performance days. That little bitch can never keep a fucking mouth shut. What do you expect? She's a harpy. Well, she's... That's what's happening. <laughs> Who was the other one who went missing? Detective Cowan? Detective Cowan and Aria. Thank you. And the other one? Yes. Detective Callum, Detective Aria, and Detective, Callum, Callum, Detective, Aria, and Detective Shariza. Now... These three detectives were sent to, in, to help with Lady Melody Irdunen. She's one of the uh, members of the 60 families of Shaw. Hoity-toity, rich as all get out, powerful as hell. You were sent to what, Madam Irdunen? Lady Melody Irdunen. Irdunen. Melody? Melody. Ear. Yep. Ear. Ear Dunan. Ear. I R apostrophe D O O N A N. Cool. They were sent to what? She is the client. She suspects that her husband, Lord Howard Ear Dunan, is cheating on her. No relation. Um, the way that they, t the way that it was <laughs> described to me, Mr. <laughs> Howard was. Uh, out spending some extra money that is not coming back to the house. She suspected that she would that he was spending some of this money on potentially an affair, buying lavish gifts or some other. Was form of gambling a consideration here? Gambling was a consideration, but none of my uh, detectives were able to find anything on that in the last three days before their disappearance. So, from what it understands. Relatively quick turnaround. Not usual. Hmm. I gotta ask real quick. Three days is pretty fast. Did they give any of their last whereabouts? Or did they go straight to the source? Well, the first contact is usually con contact the client. So they went to the Irdunan estate in Upper North Edge and talked to Lady Melody. And from there established a bit of repertoire in order to try to figure out what was going on, look at financial records, look at anything in that regard, and potentially tail Lord Howard, see if he was going out in order to meet up with some late night trysts. And in that regard, after that third day, no contact. And uh, Lady Yerdu, she is not gone missing, she's still... She is still at her estate. She's not. And Lord Howard has still been seen around the city. So... And do we know of any connections of Lord Howard Irdun to any of the mobs or mafias? That one I have not reached any sort of conclusion on, but I wouldn't be surprised if there is some level of connection going on there. My he didn't tail, he just, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. Exactly. Sharn is not always the safest happen. place to be in. After all, Boromar clan still does all the white-collar crime, but Dask has been getting pretty rowdy in the lower districts. Mm -hmm. I can't guarantee whether or not it's one or the other. I have my assumptions, but no confirmations. So just, to be, just, so just so that we're here, um, Mr. Ferrer, so we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. you know? um, we are being sent to look for the three detectives, not to solve the affair. If you could solve the affair in the meantime, you will get a bonus. Mm -hmm. Can I get that on people? Don't yeah. worry, I'm having Linda over at the front write up a contract mm -hmm. right now. We, we Those citizen owns are real good. 
That's we'll how we're pretty quickly. Yeah. So if they went to go talk to Lady Melody, we should go talk, see what she told them, and that would have been their clue, and they would have gone Mr. Ferris, are you sure you really want to put your nose in all of this? I mean, it looks pretty cut and dry, right? I mean, obviously it wasn't an affair. It was probably something to do with, you know, one of the big four. And you really want to put more people out there? If the name's going to come back to you eventually. And this is something you want to do? I'm a member of the Finders Guild. I already get into trouble with the fucking mafias. Okay. I've already put a number of DAS criminals behind bars, as well as a couple of lower-ranked Boromar clan. I'm already on their shit list. Alright. What's Howard's business? Howard's business, he works in antiquities. That's mostly what the Erdunans primarily focus on. Uh, Lord Howard himself tends to deal with ones that involve dragon shards, primarily of the Kyber and Cyberus varieties. Mm. He's definitely have a deal with the mob somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised, but like I said, no evidence yet. Well, you got an address? Yes, I do. You're heading to the Erdunan Estate in Upper North Edge in the district of Crystal Bridge. From here, it's probably a good 45 minutes if you're walking. That would probably be better than that. Yeah, sure, if you find any of the Orion carriages. Probably knock that in half, take a sky carriage. Yeah, probably get there in like less than 10 minutes. I'm a day's early, I don't mean to come soon. I don't know how you guys are doing though. Sure, we go ship it for a carriage? Yeah. Easy, we'll knock this case out, we'll go home. Cool. Right. Anything else you got for us? He does, I have a show. You guys do the night? I don't know. Maybe. You don't hold that short thing, right? No. How far are you going to schedule? About 20 minutes? 20 minutes in advance? I'm a very busy woman. I have a lot of things to do. I'm going to argue around both. You'll find Scarlet is extremely busy. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes. I'm just going to start, like, as you guys are chatting. Like, all right, I'm going to push the door. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to push the door. Yeah, I'm going to push the door. Yeah, I'm going to push the door. Please let me out of here. And that's exactly why I hired you to help. <laughs> Truly exceptional. There's a there's a moment of like like as they're all leaving, like Robert just kind of look across, just kind of like make eye contact and just make sure to talk to Linda on the way up for your papers. New you girlfriend. Absolutely. New girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> While I was sitting on the desk, like leaning over, what were the papers on his desk? Papers on the desk were the files angle. of the detectives, mm -hmm. as well as uh, both of the Erdunans, mm -hmm. as well as a couple of other cases trying to find what you could tell would be other people of interest in mm -hmm. the city. Okay. Were, there, were there pictures of the people? Yes, there were pictures of the uh, detectives and both the Erdunans. Perfect. For the investigators, Callum is a human man. Um, dark skin, um, short hair, looks grizzled as fuck. You could assume that he served in the last war at some point, based on the, a bunch of different scarring that he had on his face. Mm -hmm. um, Detective Aria is a half-elf woman. Um, lighter skin, seems to have a bit more of a, what could best be described as macabre aesthetics going on, has a couple of like skull earrings going on and some like face paint going on. And Shariza, you would know pretty well. Um, she's a harpy, tan skin, bright red hair. Um, and a feathering that is equivalent to that of like a peregrine falcon. Yep. What did, uh, what, what race was Detective Ariana again? Uh, Aria was a half elf. Okay. So, I can assume that looking at these pictures, like if I was walking down the street and I saw them, I'd be like, wait a fucking second. Potentially, yes. You'd have to uh, do like perception or things of that nature, but you could potentially see it, yes. Um, so, yeah. You guys head up to Linda. No. I'd be the first one there, and I'd be like, hello, my lily pie. Oh, come on. Your employer, Mr. Forrest, told me that you might have something for me. 
Hello there, sweetheart. I do have a couple of papers for you. Give me oh. one second. Don't worry, I'll take anything, anything you have. <laughs> <laughs> As you see on Linda, she has a dragon mark on her hand, and okay. it seems to glow okay. as she is like writing at lightning speed, essentially, as uh, almost like the thoughts that she, and information that she's getting is immediately transferring over. It's almost okay. copy and pasting, okay. but in and, written uh, form. Would I recognize this dragon mark? It is the mark of uh, scribing. Okay. It is known as... It is a gnomish uh, family of dragon-marked people. So whereas you have the mark of finding, which is mostly humans and half-orcs, scribing is entirely gnomes. They, they run the trade when it comes to anything on the written word. Lawyers, re <laughs> receptionists, um, communications. They help with the mailing system, that sort of shit. We love, we love post office. Yep. <laughs> As she finishes writing up various papers and ideas. Along with that birthmark, dragon mark, does she have any jewelry on it? Perhaps a ring. In fact, she does. A ring. ring. Necklaces. Um, she does have, like, a uh, earring on one of her ears. Um, small, looks silver, um, nothing too gaudy. <laughs> and she does wear a ring. Okay. On her, uh, on her ring finger. Cool. Gonna do anything about that? <laughs> well, she's, no, she's, she's handing she's over my screw in. Yes, she is handing over papers, papers to you. Perfect. I'll take it. Ah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to know what she's handing you. It's a lot of words. I wouldn't read the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. General idea okay. it is uh, your information saying that you are consultants for working for Ferris Finders and that you are. Uh, aiding the various detectives of this agency as liaisons and consultants. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she, she's handing me a pass into a rich person's house. Essentially, yes. Cool, 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 cool. Yay. Well, thank you, my lily pad. You're very welcome, sweetheart. <laughs> and I like hold my hand out to like it's her hand. As she just oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going for the ring well. I'm just gonna say you're giving me a pass. Yeah, I'm it. definitely just watching. Like <laughs> <laughs> I do a Robin Hood little dungeon. <laughs> She says, I want to suck the gemstone out of there. What the hell? Damn, didn't know she was a freak like that. Damn. Wait a second. Asthmatic of uh, Robin Hood and Little John. Walking in the forest. As you are given the papers to basically enter a rich person's house. Under, under deception, but now I'm already exhausted. Just seeing that, I'm just like, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> it's gonna go really, really well. Alright. As you guys gather around, um, and how are you making your way into Upper North Edge? Are you gonna try to get a. I would like to just walk. I need to go get my gear. Oh, okay. sorry. Right, we're starting in case I gotta go get my stuff. I'll meet you there. What that's gear right. do you have? I got my, I got my, uh... Mr. Howard about it. is exceptional at everything they do. Ah, well, that's very nice, but, uh... You never know, maybe there's uh, something going on where I gotta be prepared, and, you know, I got a few things I can help us along the way, just in case we get tailed and tagged, but, you know... And I think that will give us off all enough time to walk over, look at the estate, the grounds, what's around, to see if Mr. Howard is still at home, see if... Miss we are not stealing. <laughs> Why not? Stealing? <laughs> we are there to steal information. We are there to collect and gather information. We are not there. Synonyms, synonyms my dear. Synonyms. Synonyms. John. 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 Because Donnie. I have known you Donnie's many years. Some people who's trying to. And I swear to God, <laughs> if you fuck up a job for me. I, I that went reasonably well. Right? He's never fucked up a out. job before. Thank you. Uh, he's fantastic at one. He's fucked. I think we'll no, all gain something from this. Give it a 
Oh, the paper. Oh, yes, of course. You mean these papers? <laughs> They're not the papers. John. <laughs> what are you handed? Papers. <laughs> so, can I, can I if, you're not, if, if, if you're not saying I have paper on me, it's a, for sure a minor illusion now. <laughs> I'm just holding. Can I knowing Don to be like, and there, uh, he always puts important documents in uh, the lower left hand pocket of his coat. The and safest of places. I was going to say, would you say that is fair information for you two to know? For yeah, and, and it's said, like it's it's definitely just in a pocket. Yeah, mm -hmm. I probably have hidden pockets that she do they don't know about. Right. Yeah. yeah, I would. Yeah, do you, I'm just, not, you do the illusion thing. My hand goes right through the illusion. Just like, I bet you know what I mean. You grab them. Yeah. Thank you. Well, my dear. <laughs> I'm reading that. What should I say? <laughs> Information documents that say that you are consultants and liaisons for Ferris Finders uh, Investigation Agency, and that you are assisting on the case for uh, Lady Eardoon. Oh, they're just contracts. Here's yours. Thank you. Here's yours. Here's yours. <laughs> yours is still in your pocket. <laughs> what was this? <laughs> My number. It's a sticky note that says, uh, I yeah, owe what? you. Come <laughs> on. Oh, no, it's like, I owe you. <laughs> Is there like an equivalent of like a cab I can call or something like yeah, that? Yeah, there's okay. carriages that go throughout the city as well as sky coaches. So are you going by land or by air? Uh, what's faster? I mean, probably air. Faster is air. I think. Howard has, Chase has like money, mm -hmm. so I don't think this is a huge. You spend. have your starting money. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> then, uh. It's like two silver award, so it's kind of like cool. Fucking four silver, you're fine. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll spend it then on this, uh, and I'll go home and grab uh, my cocktails and my mixers and all that kind of stuff, and my cups. Yep. And uh, meet them there at the estate. Sounds good. Everyone else, are you walking to the estate or are you grabbing a carriage or sky coach? Yeah, I like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I guess we're all walking together. Like this is great because uh, Hannah it's Scarlet nice. feels like she's just like walking with like her entourage. You know, <laughs> like these are my guards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. These are my security guards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, but, but while we're walking, we're like, yeah. So, um, you guys think we're really, uh, we're really down for that thing. Uh, whoever it is took down uh, a harpy, uh, a veteran, and another fucking random ass detective. Well, we only have to know what happened to them. What happened. Detectives are strong words to describe them. Just oh. a couple of upper class kids trying to get joy out of figuring out a case. Mm. So you don't well, have to go to school to be a detective. Do you not have to go to school to be a detective, or you just gotta just stay in your yard? I'm actually a detective. Okay, they were also so, actual uh, detectives, though, so. I'm gonna reach in, like, my coat and pull out, like, my badge <laughs> mm -hmm. from, like, wow, you know, the so cops. Wow, so Yeah. <laughs> what information is on the badge? <laughs> uh, it is the <laughs> name of the officer. And where the outpost that they would work for. It's, they have a badge. Now. I immediately internalize that, that, that information. Mm, okay then. So like, now become. <laughs> a detective versus just essentially what you have become, which is. Detective. Saying the detectives. So what, do you have to go to school to get Detecting! <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to go to school to get that fancy medal or? No detective school. Sure. Oh, okay. So you just got it. For solving many, many cases. So what you're saying is, as soon as we solve this, we can all be detectives with you. What you need, Detective Caruse, is presentation. Watch this. <coughs> well, hello there. Minor illusion for my badge, but it's an like FBI. <laughs> and it out and goes, goes, Detective Caruse, that just serves my matter. Oh my goodness. Well, Detective Caruse, you may come into my home, however you want. <laughs> Tell me, where's your husband? <laughs> what should I say? Kind of like, we're probably, we're somewhere high. Kind of like, look over the nearest railing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there are many bridges that span across the various wards and towers of Sharn. Really? It's quite easy to find a bridge to look down from. It goes down about, like, you know, two thirds of a mile. But wait, you're not a detective, though? You don't have a fancy little badge. 
I have an office. I have a sign on the door. I am a private investigator. What's the difference? You have an office and a sign? I yeah. don't work for corrupt cops. So you work for corrupt people? No. Okay. I work for myself. So I don't have... So all they think about corrupt people? No. Okay. Well, I don't understand what the fuck you do. Half of Ruby, this one's sharp. <laughs> and then we get the right. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the whole hour. Like, the I, the I go, bit <laughs> took 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's, there's various banter going oh, on in the 45 minutes it takes for an I start explaining, like, no, I don't work for corrupt people. I, I work stare like, over the This is what I do. Minutes. I'm like, I help the regular everyday people. We're there. And it's like, yeah. Oh, you, you're explaining what you actually do and who you actually work for to a brick wall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't work for corrupt people. I work for the people who get turned down by the cops. Oh, this is a beautiful a home. I love the marble that they put up. Hey, I'm there. Yeah, I was going to say, it <laughs> takes all of you 45 minutes to actually get to the place from walking. You get to your house in 7.5 minutes. Oh, cool. I come back and here. you can get to the estate in another 7.5. 0.5. Oh, so, that, so I could be there uh, much earlier than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, I was going to say, depending on how quickly you grab your stuff, you can get there first. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't take around. long. I'll, I'll show back up with just like a long kind of coat. You know, the pockets are just like stuffed with all sorts of like, you know, just alcohol. Do you have a bag? Like, nah. Nah. Do <laughs> you have a bag? Nah. Has Slice like been here before? Yeah. In the upper districts, uh, what is Slice's, uh, we'll say, Modus operandi. Well, because Slice's whole thing that is that they, expensive they here for him. yeah, um, he's a very expensive, essentially escort. Okay. Or like you know that kind of thing, like schmoozes up to people and then mm -hmm. either plants evidence mm -hmm. into their houses. Yeah. In order for you know them right. to be you know yeah, yeah, yeah. detained or whatever, but, yeah. or steals something from their house. Okay. So you've probably been hired for a couple petty jobs. Yeah. Um, to various members of but not to like upper this class, house. not this house specifically. Okay. Um, maybe somebody like three blocks down that direction. You kind of see a spider that looks familiar, but okay. not this one specifically. Okay, that's all I need to know. I got a question about Lumi's character. Do you look like you could knock somebody out? Oh, probably. Yeah. I've, I've probably gotten to like enough like fisticuffs. Yeah, you know, like, I, mean, I can. I just want to know I can, what I can, your strength and athletic is, but like just looking at your build, not would you punch me? It's you know what I mean. Okay, well, you, I, I, I could punch Butch yeah. lesbian who box at who boxes every two days. <laughs> that's that's what I mean. <laughs> As you four arrive at the estate, and Chase is already here. <laughs> I just like found a bench or something. <laughs> yeah, we're just feeding the bird. It's like yeah. an old man. Yeah, I'd be feeding the bird. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and the upper district is, you know, not cluttered as much as like when you start going into the middle or lower district. So it's like, you know, there's a couple of like open parks here on yeah. some of the upper terraces. My biggest question is, is it boarding another estate, house to house? I know they're rich, so there'd probably be space. There is space between the areas. So, like, yeah, these, it up. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Like there's. Like, sure, there's the estate, but then there's the rest of the fucking yard yeah. with, like, topiaries and all that sort of thing going That's on. That's the house. This is the estate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would I would be looking, since I got there a little bit early, if there's anything, like, very obviously wrong here, if there's, like, a blown out window, or if there's, like, you know, um, anything like that. Yeah. Like, Roll me a perception check. Okay, as okay. you are probably doing this from outside at a little bit of a distance, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Perception? Yes. Uh, ten. <laughs> ten? Yeah, you don't see any obvious signs of somebody breaking in. There's no smashed windows, there's no, like, you know, no one decided to take a minotaur to a wall or anything like that. Um, it's, the estate is clean, the, um, the gate and walls are all intact. <coughs> the, you see a couple of members of staff that are, you know, groundskeeping and taking care of like the, the lawn on the estate, but nothing, no obvious signs of breaking and entering. Cool, okay. Yeah, I'll just wait for my team Cool. Everyone meets back up, and you are outside of the gates to the Irdunan estate. How you made it? 
Hey, Chase. Hey, you keep going. Yeah, do you like everybody? <laughs> I was asking oh him if he went goodness. to detective school, and apparently that's a very touchy subject. Is that detective school? Apparently not. I thought that was, but there's not. No, he said he had to solve a few cases, so yeah, we could work out to be detectives. detectives. And then I said, I'm a detective. And he was like, well, you know, you did you throw around that with so much weight. I know, that's what I'm saying. Anybody can die on. Wait, did you just get a knock on the door like that? Detective Adonis, frankly. <laughs> detective Adonis. Wow, there so is a, uh, there is a guard at the uh, estate gate. and just like, I don't know, this chest. You're not just gonna, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Eating dog, motherfucker. It is a large warforged individual in what looks to be a butler outfit. Oh, that still tracks them. Uh, with a metal mustache going on with the little twirls at the end. Um, as he just goes, Hello, sir. How may I help you? May to see the man. We're here on official uh, fair responders business. Ah, more of the uh, detectives, yes? Hi. That may, is great. May I see papers? Like my contract, or like my business card, or something Identification, like that. please. The one booby hand is the early of the day. Actively just <laughs> making a straight eye contact at Scarlet, but just hands back the papers there, and just like whenever you guys hand your other papers, just slides it into frame and then hands it back. <laughs> For God's sake, Scarlet, don't tease the wolf watch. You're so cute. I appreciate the compliment. Hands back the papers. Is Lord Erdun in today? Uh, Lord Erdunin is currently out in the marketplace. He and said he would be uh, coming back around 6 p.m. or so. Brilliant. And what about Miss Lady Erdunin? Lady Erdunin is currently in the estate right now, yes. Perfect. That's who we're here to see. Very well. I shall lead you over to her. Thank uh, you. You are welcome. As he just. Yep. As this point, it's like close to eleven. Mm. Um, you got uh, this large warforge opens the door, um, and what can best be described as the butler character from Cats Don't Dance, where it's just like heavy upper body, kind of smaller on the leg department. From a big triangle. Big triangle based warforge. Mm -hmm. As he just like puts his hands together like this, as he just like. Almost like a Mr. Krabs walk, just scuttles. Ah, <laughs> oh, he scuttles. <laughs> he scuttles. Uh. <laughs> See, seems this one was a custom-built Warforged. Ah, uh, you made it scuttle? <laughs> <laughs> that's almost worse. Ah, uh, it's worse. That's custom-based Warforged as the butler? I yes. Could, I could forget if it was born like this. You made it scuttle? Most, most Warforged are mass-produced to fight shit. Towards the end of the war, Fancy people started getting custom ones. <laughs> and leading you into the estate, Gaudy doesn't begin to describe the interior of this place. Um, on the way in, there are various topiaries just sort of lining the pathway up to the front doors. Um, most of them seem to be of uh, various flying animals, like there's a hippogriff, there's a griffin over here, you see one that's like a, like, um, a large owl, uh, sort of degree, um, and as you approach the door, like, the, even the door knockers are, like, dragon heads with the fucking, like, uh, handles on them, um, takes a key, unlocks the door, opens it up, ushers you five inside, and in the main hallway is this large staircase that like goes from either ends dipping down into the front hallway various pillars and what seems to be most prominent in the hallway display cases as what seems to be various um uh if anyone would like to roll a history check by what they look like they're historical things antiquities was what fair said these people were with 17 17? 23. 23? Nine. Nine. Nine? 19. 19. And 12. 12? Alright. For 9 and 12, they look old. Uh, will look to be, you think, are a couple of instruments. You can, you can kind of see where it's just kind of like, okay, there's a couple of holes in that, and like what looks to be a reed piece. 
probably some thing like that. Not exactly much going into it. The other three of you, you can actually kind of see like, it's not exact sciences on that, but it's kind of like, oh, this is fucking old, old. Like this is Roman Empire old. Like these, these would be qualified as like artifacts you'd put in a museum type of thing. And a lot of these seem to be ornamental. Like they've got various different um, like gems embedded into all of these different things. Some of them look like fine attire. Others look to be it, what the other two saw, instruments. Um, you think there was like the pommel of a dagger in one of these things, but you can't exactly tell anything further than that. Cool. Just like something of a like curiosities around it? A lot of curiosities, yeah. Okay. Um, you guys would know this would, based on those rules, um, 19, 17... I rolled 23. 17. 23. I rolled 19. Got it. <laughs> wrong I pointed wrong. Wrong direction. 17, 19, right. 23. Get the numbers right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say with that 23, you're able to identify specifically mm -hmm what these things come from. They're from an ancient goblin empire that used to be on the continent. <laughs> the equivalent of the Roman Empire for us. Mm -hmm. Like that that's how far back we're talking here. Mm -hmm. And what race are the are the Erdonians? The Erdunans? Erdunans. Uh, Melody is a half elf and Howard is a human. Hmm. Okay. Um, and you see various other staff among the, the house as the Warforged butler leads you up the stairs um, over into a what looks to be office space, um, writing room. Um, various other members of the house seem to be. Halflings, humans, you see a couple of tieflings. It's a bit of a, di a diverse mix in here. You see a few more Warforged. Um, the butler seems to be the only one built like that. <laughs> the other ones seem relatively normal. Built different. Built different. <laughs> They're like a fucking Dorito. <laughs> I am built different, and by that I mean incorrectly. <laughs> With bronze and not steel. <laughs> they had to put mustache on me to make sure I did not look too threatening. Why'd they make a juggernaut a, a fucking butler? The world will never know. <laughs> As you guys are led into the uh, writing room, where you see Lady Melody Irdunin currently um, looking over some various papers um, at a desk. I know she said she's half open. Yes. How old is she? <laughs> um, half open. She she's young for a half elf, so she's in is her like. Well, you can guess so, as somewhere in like I said, so, I didn't know Lady Erdunen had a daughter. <laughs> my uh, excuse I mean, in the we're, we're, we're here to see Lady Erdunen. Persuasion check. That's so good, though. But can it be a deception check? No, okay. I, will, I will allow deception of your choice. Okay, well, I did a perception, oh, and it was 20 total. Persuasion. 20 total? Yeah. Nice. 15, then I have 5. Yeah, just <laughs> he's learning. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's learning. Give me multiple of five. Do it right. Fuck yeah. Um, you come in and what did you say? Yeah, basically I'm gonna be like, uh, I didn't know Lady Arjunin had a daughter. Miss, we're here for the Lady of the House. Um, as she turns around and goes, my aren't you very flattering? And um. Wallace, who are these individuals? They are detectives with the Ferris finders. They are here for the uh, closes the door. The detective. Yes, <laughs> the detective. <laughs> As uh, Lady Melody goes. Ah. Well, yes, I am Lady Melody. You're doing. I am the lady of the house. Um. And uh, who are you individuals? You're with the Ferris Finders? Mm -hmm. I yes. I believe I spoke to a couple of... I'm uh, Thomas Franklin, at your service. And I, like, <laughs> touch your hand. I'd like to make your acquaintance. And I won't kiss this one, but, uh, 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 jewelry? <laughs> oh, yes. 
Okay, okay. there is jewelry on this hand. She is she is decorated in fine clothing. Um, it's eleven M. She might not be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's fine clothing for the common folk. Casual clothes for her. For sure. Um, but yeah, she does have a couple of pieces of jewelry on her. Um, Hello, Mr. Franklin. And Jake Howard. Nice to meet you. Mr. Howard. No relation to your husband, so I don't know. Detective Andrews. I don't believe that's how first and last names work, but... Yeah. <laughs> You're going to feel my eyes on the back of my head. <laughs> Miss Andrews. And who are you two? You might uh, recognize me depending on uh, what, um, what afternoon or nighttime activities you have. I also go by a scarlet. She's going like, to pull her glasses down. What, um, what, what are the things? Persuasion or performance check of your choice. Uh, I forgot what I took expertise in. <laughs> Should have Oops. jotted that down. It's very important for bonds. I think that is shame. <laughs> uh, I want to say at least one of them was performance. Honor, I can't, I so. yeah. hmm. can't remember. I think it was performance. Because I know I'm you so were deception high. and sleight of hand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those numbers are just so high, so I figured that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever, whatever numbers are so high, you got three bars. Yeah. That's yeah. how I think about it. My persuasion is a seven, so that's probably one of them. Right? What's your charisma? Yeah. Charisma's a plus four. Yeah. Charisma's a plus four. Plus that nerd. Yeah. No, <laughs> math's wrong. That's either an eight or a six. Because expertise is that proficiency, so expertise is going to be that plus four to something because it's proficiency twice. Yeah. So it won't be a higher number. It's what like, did I do? What did I say? I don't know. What did I say that it was? She's short. Ah, you're you're short. Okay, we're going to say it is performance, though. So wait, okay. what is it? Four plus. Your charisma okay. plus twice your proficiency. So it's going to be eight. Charisma plus four. Okay. Hey. And then I'll also say my persuasion is an eight. Okay, those are my expertise. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Anyways! Look how prepared you are. Shut the fuck up. Look how prepared you are. Shut the fuck up. Die. Uh, you do not talk to me. 23. Woo! 23. <laughs> performance or persuasion? Uh, I performance. know it's the same. Performance. performance. I guess I don't know. Alright. Whatever you said to do first. Sure enough. She's so uh, Would have been uh, performance on that, so. <laughs> yeah. 24, you said? Mm -hmm. I believe I've heard of that. Are you... Are you like one of the street performers around or something like that? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. no. I'm, I, I, um... Oh, like there's a couple of red things when it comes to no, 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 Performer, that would be. I'm not some common street rat! Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, I think it's a slippery coin. Slippery coin? I don't believe I frequent that place. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my gosh, it's fantastic! You no, really she... should. It's fantastic. No, it's just, uh, amazing. Uh, don't take that into consideration, then. <laughs> anyway, we're here to help. <laughs> Uh, yes. We are actually here with a couple questions regarding the detectives you've already spoken to. Yes, I... Wallace, what was their names? It was Detectives Callum, Aria, and Shariza. Yes, the feathered one, yes. Yes. Um, and uh, what did you want to ask about them? Did something happen? Uh, well... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> While um, investigating your case, they seem to have... Uh, Can you help them? ...taken off. So, we are here to uh, pick up where they left off and see if you knew anything about uh, where they left off in your, in your case. Okay. That's... Well, let's note that down. We may have to find some other detectives later. Um, and what's your first question? Um, just what... Uh, she's gonna ask her like what they, any information that they had gotten from her regarding her husband's whereabouts, stuff like mm -hmm. that, uh, anywhere they may have sure. gone to check. Um, last I heard from them, they were taking a look at the um, 
some of the financial records that we have. We tend to keep a good bookkeeping around here. We have a couple of civis knowns on payroll. They help mark down everything. Um, there were a couple of gaps within the within the within the money, and what was listed as dragon shard items. My husband kind of has a bit of a fascination with them. Um, what was listed as dragon shard items never made it back to the house, so it felt a little odd. And a couple of what were listed as personal expenses. And the thoughts come into the head when it comes to personal expenses and gifts being bought but not given to me. Um, of course. So. Absolutely natural to have those worries. Mm-hmm. Um, I know my husband tends to go to the bazaar for that sort of thing. Um, I don't know why he wants to associate with anyone from the middle districts, but he does what he can. And I want to say he took a look over by the old, like, Aranol bazaars area that's up here in the upper districts. They, they're a bit more macabre for my liking, but... You know, they do have some good magic items, I, I will say that much. Do you know how recently you started this? Was it maybe about a week or so? Uh, starting what? Uh, uh, just like collecting magic items. Collecting? Yeah, or getting gifts that... What, that the, weren't getting delivered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the discrepancies in personal finances. Yeah. So. Um, you notice? I believe those started about... Say about... Two and a half weeks ago? Alright. It's. I'll admit, Sharn is not exactly the safest city, so I was afraid that something may have happened, and, you know, one or two personal expenses are not, you know, that bizarre every once in a while. Sometimes it's getting a nice crepe from a local diner. Um, but. When it starts adding up to, you know, a couple hundred gold, and nothing coming home, you get worried. Mm. Yeah, no, that's, that, that's valid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just need to, just to help out the detectives before, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. it, where does he spend most of his time? Um, most of the time he's either in his own private study uh, here in the estate, or like I said, he makes a couple of trips down to the bazaar or the Aranol, like shops here in the upper district. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if he's not here, he's out shopping. Is he in the study now? No, he's currently out of the house, mm -hmm. um, which has me worried. But do you know which particular bazaar he might be at at this current moment? Um. I believe he starts at the Aranol ones and then makes his way down to the bazaar, like after everyone's gotten out of work. He's, he, he started going into this thing called shopping therapy recently, oh, and yeah, a black hole that. I, it's certainly looking that way as she looks at like one of the papers on the desk that you see is, C has like. It's like an Excel spreadsheet, basically. No. Expenses, numbers, where they're being spent at. Can I like, pick it up and read it? Um, sure. You ask for it, and she'll hand it over to you. Um, Can I hand particular that like jumps out? Roll an investigation check. Yeah, definitely guaranteed. Can you remind me, my dear, who does your finances again in the house? Oh, so long. Um, that would be uh, like who files everything. That would be Lucille de Civis. She's on the payroll. Mm -hmm. um, she's our, she's our financier. You mind if I ask a... Okay, lovely. And you work, uh, does she work here? Or does she work in an office? Uh, she has an office, but okay. um, I can call her up here. She'll probably be up and within. You know, I got a personal line to her. I can probably get her up here within the next. 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, I would love to talk to her. Or you could just give me her uh, office. I don't want you to inconvenience yourself. I'll just go. Um, 
Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a second. And yeah. she just... Uh, she goes to uh, find the address in the book and goes to start writing something down. It's it's going to take her a little bit. You can... You don't even have to roll insight. This is not a woman who does her own work. No, I know. Which is why I said just give me the address. Yeah. So she is actively looking for the address at this point. Um, what was that investigation check? Twelve. Twelve. Whoa, no um, <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of numbers. You do see a couple of common shops. Um, there seems to be... Um, there's one that's called Nightshade. Uh, seems to be from one of the upper districts. And you see another one that is abbreviated as B bits and bottles. Like it's B dash bits and bottles. That one seems to be in the uh, bizarre area. Do you mind if, because uh, it's not personal, I ask uh, what your husband or yourself does for what? Um, or is this, uh, works? <laughs> is this something like a, forgive me, old money? Old money? Um, a lot of it is old money. Um, yeah. But we work with antiquities, so we do hire yeah. a couple of folks in order to go on various expeditions to various ruins. Um, yeah, we saw a little bit when we were coming in the house. It was impressive this morning. Yes, old Dakani ruins. Um, oh, as she starts fantastic. going off into essentially an info dump. I do back to my job code where I just listen to yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't know that. Wow, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she she starts going into like ancient kings and like the fall of the ancient goblinoid empire and just. You know, it was never actually proven. We've had some records when it comes to, like, how the Empire fell. There was a couple of talks about infighting. There was also the talk of, you know, immigrants coming in from Sarlona, that being the human explorers, and coming over and talking about all that. But there was also a couple of records, I believe, that were talking about these ancient beings from, like, Zoriat or something. Yeah. While she's talking, I'm going to give a signal to you two, I think you know at this point. Which is just like, look around. Like, I'm distracting yes. the sun. <laughs> yep. You do what yeah. you need to do with that. I'm not still looking around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actively like, distracted. Yes. Yeah. I, I do my job. Yeah. Well, like, I'm like, well, very, like, nonchalantly, like, get up yeah. and start yeah. looking around the room. Like, no, and then I'm, if, yeah. I'm sure she's not going to see me. I probably slip out to look around the house as well. Sure thing. Uh, <laughs> you, you roll me a persuasion check to see how long you can keep her attention on this. Um, what are you doing? Oh, this whole time, I would have just been like wandering around the room, just like, oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. that's oh, this is beautiful, and put it back down. You know what I mean? I know there's a warforged. So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. I'm like, how much is he looking at me? Yep. Investigation right. check cool. or insight if you're focusing on the warforged. No investigation. Cool. And you are actively looking around or trying to sneak out of the room. Yeah. Cool. Um, investigation yeah. <laughs> or stealth of your choice. It was a nat 20 for a 26. Sorry. Stop, I, I looking, stop you. looking at my dice! <laughs> I just glanced. <laughs> stop looking at my... It was a 19 and then you looked at it and it moved! Well, yeah. I'm gonna uh, you are breathing in my room! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna fake the other counter now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Robin, what are you doing? <laughs> just been Ominously in the corner. Ominously in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell me to... Did you tell me to roll for? Investigation or stealth of your choice? Okay. Uh, no investigation, stealth. Honestly, <laughs> I'll probably just like kind of like lean against a corner, and just kind of like plant myself in some place, and then I'll send off uh, my pseudo dragon Jericho and just kind of like look through their senses using mm -hmm. the find familiar ability. Okay. As they, they're going to start That's investigating, true. like flying That's around true. and looking for. Really, just got to... Honestly, I'll probably just tail one of these fuckers. Okay. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have Jericho like fly, jump over, and wrap around you. So like like just like a little collar. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing anything illegal. The cop is watching me now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Does that you look like you're nodding off. Yeah. I look, I look like I'm taking a, a sweet little nap as you've just. 
have the dragon, little pseudo dragon, just wrapped around your neck, just a little. Is the there just... door? He's dead. He's <laughs> <laughs> It's not good, dog. Okay. <laughs> it's that, man. I think because. Uh, yeah, that's. It's a six. Six for. And for investigation. For investigation? I'm. Woo! What am I? Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> There's a nat 20 discussion happening over here between these two. Um, that 20. DC got very lowered <laughs> because at this point, uh, oh. Melody is. You could swear that she could write a dissertation on the fucking history of the Goblinoid Empire at this point with how much she's talking to Chase about this. We're not focusing yeah. on anything else. Okay. Like, one of my little superpowers is I get just enough to ask a question to prompt another angle of things. I'm like, well, what about the Empire before that? That was... That would be a... Well, it depends on which empire you're talking about. Because there was the Goblinoid <laughs> Empire, but there was also oh, the Dragonborns dragon over in the East, and they were competing with the yeah. Dwarven Empire. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> I did hear about the assassination. Did that change the culture after yeah. that? <laughs> exactly. Just enough to um, know With the yeah. six investigation, at this point, you're probably looking at the other papers on the desk. Yeah. Um, just looking for some other cursory information. Okay. Is that is that fair to listen? Yeah. Okay. Um, so looking over some of the other papers, just a lot of finance documents, okay. but you also see that there are somewhat less frequent, uh, trips, but repeated to a couple of shops in Lower Dura, which is one of the heaviest crime areas within Shard. You would know. You've done some work there. Pop would know. She lives there. Pop would know. They live there. <laughs> um, so it does strike you as a little odd that this nobleman is going into one of the most heavily concentrated areas of crime repeatedly. Um, for fun. Yeah, either for fun or for business. I don't know. There is expenses there. A um, couple other shops down there, but there seem to be repeated ones towards a towards this one club uh, called Club Clawfoot. Um, it seems to be a repeated area. They've gotten a couple of drinks there apparently. Okay. Um, what did you roll on your oh, five? Five. <laughs> I feel like some of that is influenced by the pseudo dragon that is now perched around your yeah. neck. Because, like, on one hand, just kind of like, ooh, and you see, like, a couple of, like, statuettes or some, like, nice little, um, like, just bits and baubles. Easily worth 50, 70, 100 gold each. Yeah, but on, like, stupid stone statue? Like, there's a, <laughs> a little bit, yeah, because just kind of like, you know that's good metal. You don't know if that goes all the way through, and you don't know if anyone would buy the fucking thing. Like, oh, cool, a porcelain horse. Ooh. Eh. Fancy pants, <laughs> rich McGee. A porcelain. A porcelain. A porcelain. That's how I porcelain. <laughs> um, I would say for Robin, are you also trying to investigate through these eyes of uh, Jericho? Or are you just keeping an eye on Dante? Honestly, passion. sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, see what I can see through, um, through Jericho. Sure thing. Roll me an investigation check. Scarlet, what are you doing? Um, I want to try and see if I can maybe slip out of this room and talk to the staff. Sure. You know, like to be able to work here. Yeah. Um, as you approach the door, Wallace goes, Is there something I can help you with? Or, will you answer my questions? Sure, I am here to help. Oh, lovely. Okay. Lovely. Um, okay. <laughs> now, can I ask you a kind of personal question? <laughs> Okay. okay. Do um do the Lord and Lady of the House share the same bedchambers? Persuasion check. <laughs> Twenty-two. Similarly, going over the investigation area, but while uh, Adonis is probably looking at some of the other like shinies and just kind of like, eh, whatever, you are also just taking a look at the various other items within this room, probably. Um, 
Because remind me what are Jericho's senses? I forget if if pseudo dragons have any special senses. Uh, blind sight and uh, dark sight. Blind, blind sight and dark vision. Cool. Um, dark sight. Blind vision and dark sight. Blind vision. Dark sight. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and <laughs> that's what Toph has. <laughs> See four dimensions. Ah! <laughs> there he's got a good look at you. Um, Jericho just sort of like peeking around at areas. Um, at one point, something probably catches your eye as what looks to be a bookshelf that is slightly out of the wall. Ooh. Um, you see that there is a small crack in there, and I think your detective, like, intuition would kind of <laughs> just kind of, like, tell Jericho, just like, what the fuck's back there? Your blind vision. <laughs> My blind vision! Your blind vision! <laughs> Your blind vision helps you go over and start inspecting the area, and you do see that there is what looks to be a, like, a uh, sort of a hatch of sorts, like, almost in the wallpaper. Oh a hatch in the wallpaper? Yes, like, it is Wallpaper going all the way down, but you can notice that there's like a sort of scene. cut out, yeah, a scene going on. Oh. What was that persuasion check? Uh, it was a thirteen, my lord. Thirteen. <laughs> 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 you don't know how a warforge clears their throat, but <clears> they <throat> are very vocal. So he doesn't have like a separate room in the house. There are <laughs> private studies and there are other guest rooms. Enough with this conversation. <laughs> you don't know how a warforged is blushing, but they are. <laughs> I'm gonna while he's just dying a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can sneak out while that's happening. <laughs> Fair enough. I will say everyone's distracted now. Yes, I would say everyone at this point is probably distracted within this room, but. He does inform you that there are other guest rooms within the house. Um, that neither the Lord nor Lady have used either of them. They have been for other guests at the stage. Now, purely for this, um, you know, uh, work, and she's gonna like grab their arm, you know, like the grabbing the warforged war yeah, arm. Yeah, arm. Like, could you, um, just for the sake of this investigation, could you take me to his study, please, just so I could take. Me? Yeah, mm, mm, yeah, yes, ma'am. As he, oh, like, sort of know. gingerly tries to untry <laughs> your yeah, arm, like just this. goes, yes, I can lead you to either the guest rooms or private studies or... Oh, the privacy would be lovely. Uh, the, 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 oh, the you are room, so perfect, thank you. You're very welcome. Oh my goodness, it's so lovely, I love this. <laughs> you don't know how the Warforged, like, doesn't have a neck really, but it kind of, like, sinks <laughs> in a little bit. Lovely. Great. Um, as you are also trying to leave this room as well, you see them actively leave the room, and you probably trail behind yeah. without a good assumption. Cool. Um, information of you three, what are you three also? Yeah, doing? you're still smoothing her up. I don't yeah. want to interrupt that, because that's rude. So maybe I'd like to be like, wrap this up, I don't want to talk to her. But I don't want to be like, stop her. You know what I mean? I want to keep her in a malleable mood. Yeah, <laughs> You're in this. Are you in the same area? Like yeah, the I'm just gonna ask her to show me around the house. We're yeah. detectives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, None of us are used to doing this shit legally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certainly not. <laughs> I'm young. Uh, there'll be some sort of breakdown. Be like, yeah, that that's really interesting. You had something you wanted to. Yes, yes. You know, <laughs> I believe my colleagues are going to see the study, but in my experience with Marvels, uh some of the best. Evidence is sometimes in their bedroom. Does your husband have a, a place where he, he he has separate from you, or even a bedroom? Um, Our wheels. Uh, well, he does have a private study, but yes, you do have a couple of guest rooms in the house. But you, you would have a bedroom where perhaps you would have evidence of a journal of a mistress. Perhaps if he would have that even written down. Yeah, either one of the guest rooms or the study. Maybe. But would would it be his private chambers? He's not. Well, even with there, you're not basically. I want to go to his bedroom. Yeah. Where yeah. Oh, the ring stash is. Yeah. Where, where, where the cufflinks are. Right. Where this is where <laughs> you're the magic they're going, happens. They're going to study. Magic, I need all of your jewelry. Fair. fair. Yeah, um, and and she, she will go. Larceny. I mean, I don't usually go 
go through his stuff in the bedroom, but he might have something in the side table. Um, well, I mean, you... we'll take a look. We'll, we'll investigate this. Yeah, this is like, yeah. Oh, this is what we believe. Of course, whatever you're comfortable with, you're free to come with us. No, pretty lady like yourself should ever be. Of course. We're both just like, per <laughs> Can I help him? Okay, I don't actually like her. Can you be deception? <laughs> this can be deception. This can be deception. I don't, I don't say that. If it is for any flirting purposes, persuasion or deception yeah, of your yeah, choice. Yeah. Uh, let's go uh, 18. Can I go with help action? Oh, I want to plus seven. Yeah. Oh, She's getting double team. I've also done passive persuasion check in the past, so hopefully that makes yeah. it. Oh, no, it's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to help that. Oh. Here. No. <laughs> um. Oh, um. Well, thank you very much, but I'm still quite happily married. Um, well, tentatively. I will say never. never. <laughs> um, mm. Yes, I'll lead you up to the. Yeah, we'll yeah, we appreciate that, thank you. Um, it, it was almost like out of reflex for her how she said that, but also just kind of like, wait, no, I wouldn't hire detectives if it wasn't okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of married. Think about it. Wait, <laughs> as she will lead you up to the yeah, and I have questions as we're walking, but I don't know if you want to cut scenes. Yeah, yeah. are where are you tagging along, Chase? I, I would, yeah, tagging along with uh, Adonis. Yeah, I'm on the couch through your. Pseudo dragon's eyes. I was yeah, gonna say, no, what, what's Robin doing? As everyone else is leaving the area, essentially, I'm gonna like, essentially, like, go to almost trade places with Jericho. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna head in, Jericho's gonna move on out and then perch, like, above the door or something like that, mm -hmm. so that they can telepathically communicate with me still if someone uh, is coming or if I'm gonna get caught. Got it. And then I'm just gonna investigate that scene of the wall. Sure thing. Um, yeah, there is the uh, sort of like seam in the wall. You see that it could comfortably fit a small sized creature, mm. medium sized creature, maybe a little more touch and go on that sort of thing. You may have to squeeze a little bit, but mm. there is a hatch there. Um, I assume you like press up against it to try to like open it up or something. This is. This is under the wallpaper, or this is like... It is carved out from the wallpaper. From the wallpaper. Like, there is the wallpaper going down. This is behind a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. So you can see, like, almost cuts going through where the door is supposed to open. Mm -hmm. But you don't see the hinges of it. Classic. Classic. Uh, service. 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 Yeah. In that case, I'll have, I'll have Jericho, like... Go in. You know, I'm gonna like move it enough so Jericho can slip in. Okay. Kind of like close it behind. Or, like not really close it behind, but like you know, keep it edged out a little bit so that I can kind of like keep a look and then like still telepathically able to communicate. And then every now and then just like flash in perspective wise. Because sure. with the blind sight and the dark vision, I should be able to see and the, the whole shadow and the blind vision <laughs> and, and, and the dark blind vision and the dark sight. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a sticker. All right. Um, <laughs> I have blind vision. I have blind vision. <laughs> I have blind vision. I have bad vision. That's team four star check. Please don't sue me. Right, right. Do it. Nah, if anyone was gonna sue anybody, it would be fucking Toei Animation. Team four star. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'd be suing team four star. <laughs> <laughs> team Four Star gets hit again, unrelated, completely because of this joke. Just fucking so catching much. strays out of some small little D and D <laughs> live play game. <laughs> what the fuck is DC Five? <laughs> <laughs> All right, as Robin, you uh, creep okay. open the small little hatch and you allow uh, your tiny little pseudo dragon to go in. Um, flashing in back and forth. This. Doesn't seem like it would be part of the standard layout of like servant like service tunnels. Like, Secret tunnel. Like even service tunnels would have you know extra lights or like you know a little extra headroom. You know we still have some level of OSHA going on. Not a lot, but some level of OSHA going on. This seems something that was put in place when the house was built, but not meant to be used. Ooh. Not by the members of the house, at least. Just, I feel like y you as a detective would probably understand this instinctually. A detective, I'm detecting the shit out of this. 
That's why I didn't have to go to school. <laughs> That's all more crimes than you. I pursue. How dare you? <laughs> I've committed more crimes. I know about more crimes than you. You're one of my crimes. Um, <laughs> you're you're bad than one of my crimes. You're <laughs> And following this sort of, uh, this sort of like hatchway, mm -hmm. continuing down, uh, there's like a small set of staircases. Uh, it leads down onto like the ground level, and then it leads further down below what would you would think would be street level. Because mm -hmm. um, even in the upper district, there's still like that sort of barrier between like the upper district and like the lower districts like ceilings essentially mm -hmm. this leads into what looks to be a, another small door and you can see that there is a lock on this one you mean this one <laughs> <laughs> mm. I have I, I, the reason I have no at the moment, I have no reason to pursue this any further without letting people know, but I know that it exists now, so... Yes. I'm gonna just, um... Like, Head back to the journal. Secret tunnel! <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Se secret tunnel... Question mark? Right? Is it secret? Is it tunnel? Right. And we will head back to Scarlet and Ruby, uh, my favorite Pokemon games. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna nod my head like I understand. <laughs> uh, you are getting taken to the guest bedroom? No, to the study. study. Private study. You following suit or heading to a different room? Uh, I think for now I'm gonna follow and okay. then just kinda... She's flirting with the workboard as she walks. Yeah. <laughs> he is visibly uncomfortable when she's even stop. Persuasion <laughs> or deception of your choice? What works for this one works for you. Yeah, they're both high numbers for me, but deception is just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice. Nineteen. Nineteen. It seems that your constant flirting is simultaneously making the Warforged nervous, but slightly opening up a little bit. Where it's kind of like, <laughs> why, why, why are they taking more. interest in me? Because they have this work. Oh, Taking advantage of a child. <laughs> hey, you know, this is a, hey, could be thirty. This is a work for Could be. Could be two. They, could be seven. They are. Could be eighty. They are built as fully functioning people. They don't have the prepubescent stage for like maybe more than a month, and that's where they learn all the combat drills. <laughs> Their childhood is boot camp. Just a month of being downloaded information coded. <laughs> <laughs> Love guys. Yep. Yeah, three, um, until we get there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And you are both being led into the private study for uh, Lord Howard Irdunen. Mm -hmm. right. And opening up the door, uh, similar to the uh, writing room and study for Lady Irdunen, this one also has a couple of display cases, a couple of other bits and baubles, but also a desk that is very neat, very kept in order. Mm -hmm. um, you can see in the display cases various other obviously magical items um under like plate not plated glass but like thick glass mm -hmm. to a degree um and you see that there is a sort of uh like sort of resting couch area there's the main desk uh, a couple of other cabinets and bureaus within the room itself mm -hmm. yeah. oh i see some very magical Stuff. Lord, uh, you're doing this ahead of a wonderful collection, huh? Yes, he is very fascinated when it comes to a, a dragon shard based mm -hmm. magic items. Uh, yeah. Usually in the form of the Kyber and the Cyberis kinds. Mm -hmm. So, you know, very high fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. and then she's gonna like lead them over. Okay, so what's this one? Uh, this one is one that he, I believe the Lord said he got from a nightshade. This is a mm -hmm. dagger of poison. Oh, interesting. Yes, this one came from the uh, Erenol Elves. They are very deep into the macabre. Mm -hmm. A nightshade, very much weird when it comes to poisons, mm -hmm. because it is both apothecary and tavern. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love that for them. Yes. <laughs> They will actively imbibe of different poisons just for zest of life, as oh. they like to say. 
How lovely. You know, I've never been there before. Does he talk about it? Like, is it like a fun place to go? He does talk about it a little bit. He uh -huh. does help with the... Uh, he says it is to better know the community. Oh. Like his community or just like a community? I call it tourism. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's kind of tour touring the lower class. No, they are not lower class. They are all very okay. established here in the upper district. They, uh, mm -hmm. they are people. They are immigrants. Yeah. They come from another continent in another way of life. Mm -hmm. They have necromancy over there, but mm -hmm. weird necromancy. I don't get it. I don't understand magic the best. Weird necromancy. What what constitutes weird necromancy? Like this is how 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 is it best described? He described it as they never died in the first place. Oh. Like it is a corpse that it never had an expiration date. It, it, the way he described it, it powered by positive plane of energy, the negative plane of energy. Oh my gosh. Well, so that's like not a vampire, but like opposite vampire. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds way too out of my league. I don't know anything about that. I mean, that this, sounds... This is what they have heard. Oh my gosh, well that sounds like such a lot of information. What about this one? What's the next one? As you sort of like leads you on a little bit of a tour of things. Ruby, what are you doing? I'm definitely like snooping around the room. The I desk would... probably, to see if I can find anything. I will say you get advantage on this because Wallace okay. is currently distracted. Okay. Uh, roll me investigation or perception. Can find false bottoms or something? Right. Is that 20 guaranteed? Uh... Stop! Sorry! You have <laughs> advantage? Stop talking to me! Do not look at that! Do, don't even... Okay, it's better. There you go. Here you go. <laughs> Here <you're coming. laughs> Don't look at me. This wasn't. I steal, and so are you. Understood. It's been great. Everybody. This is your house, but go fuck off. Uh, goodbye. Uh, the role of Chase Howard will now be played by Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah. Perception, what? Uh, perception or investigation of your choice. I'm going for uh, perception. Okay. So that I'm going to kill a good cop here and yet play D&D with Danny. 17. 17. Gosh, All right, with a 17, yeah, looking just around, you're looking at the desk, the cabinets, what yeah. specific? Okay. Mostly, mostly probably the desk, because I feel like that's where he would have the most yes. stuff, most... Mm -hmm. personal time and seeing if there are any false bottoms, anything like that. Yeah, and uh, that is specifically what you find, because looking in like the various desks, there are the um, like general papers, general note keeping, what seems to be records of expeditions and various items gathered from either around town or from any of the various donations he's given. Um, but it all seems rather bland until you notice that one of the drawers has like Basically, a couple like two to three inches of space where it should be empty, um, and there is a false bottom in place. So you take out what is on the top of it, push in a little bit, slide it, and you are able to find underneath what looks to be a journal. Mm. Uh, we have the journal. You take the journal. Do you read the journal? I do read the journal. You read the journal. Uh, inside the journal. <clears throat> In the journal, details over the past couple of months, more than anything, a couple of his visits towards um, what he designates as the lower class. He is uh, he's talking about the lower districts of Sharn as if an English colonizer would be describing Africa. Oh, is no. the best way to describe it. Oh. You yeah. can, you can taste the hoity-toity, like it is palpable, disgusting. Agreed. Um, and it does lead him to a sort of nightclub called Club Clawfoot. Um, and how it originally started as just like a couple of, uh, a couple of drinks, a couple of just hanging around, there was some good music down there. Um, music that he couldn't quite put his finger on, like he wasn't sure if this was specifically something that was the common masses deemed for their ears, or if this was some new experimental degeneracy. Those words, exactly. Um, and 
at one point it does sort of describe essentially him meeting with people. Um, one of them that he doesn't have a name for, only he essentially has a stage name for somebody. He doesn't have any like actual like, you know, something that you could find on a government record. Um, talking to this person called Maestrodon. Uh, M-A-E-S-T-R O-D-O-N. Um, saying that they were a small in stature man with a funny decorative elephant helmet. Started getting him into connections with people. Knew a couple of folks in some of the higher districts, got him to make a couple of uh, essentially greased palms until one night that he ended up drunk. And then he woke up in somebody else's house. Howard? Howard. Oh, so uh, no. Uh, saying that Maestro Don knew people, but this guy was led into other houses. Um, And since that time in the other person's, like, estate, essentially, like, uses the word estate, not just house, mm -hmm. um, he has what he describes as an unusual rash. He has tried to have it looked at by um, Jurasco doctors, some from various hospitals and clinics. No one's been able to identify it. Um, but he did find some way to at least reduce or ease the rash. Um, but he has to keep going back to that house in order to get the treatment. Oh. oh you don't say. <laughs> it seems Maestrodon has made multiple connections in that regard. And now he is consistently followed by he is followed by people that he can't name an allegiance to, but he has his suspicions that they're Boromar. So, one of the big mafia families. I am so sorry, you found the lore dump. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and saying that he knows the treatment, though it is barbaric. What, does he list what the treatment is? He does not. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, but knows that he has to do barbaric means in order to get his rash treated. Same. Move. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wanna see mine? <laughs> I can see mine. I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine. I'll show you yours. <laughs> uh, you look under the table, he's just holding a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> just like. <laughs> it is true, because what is barbaric to us, like, you know, blood sacrifices, might not be his definition of barbaric. It could be like, oh, this is something the lower class do. Yeah. Oh, I need to put there tiger for... ball on my thighs. Barbaric. Oh, I have to apply a band-aid to my own paper cut. Oh my god, like, you, sir. <laughs> Look, you cannot wear silk underwear that be cotton. Where are my physicians with third level cure wounds? Yeah. <laughs> Why did that kind of sound like Snow this? Hoity toity! Everyone all sounds right, like I that. I am going to. I'm assuming that's all the information I can get out of the journal. That is pretty much all the information you can get cool. out of like, gonna... it. It seems to stop at roughly a week ago. Okay. So nothing on the detectives, unfortunately. Okay. Cool. I am going to go ahead and put the journal back where I found it. Okay. And replace the false bottom. Sounds good. Um, As opposed to the front bottom. 
three and a half months. I am up. washing my oh, hair with soap. <laughs> <laughs> Barbaric. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I assume the rest of the desk just looks pretty normal, standard. Most of the rest is most of the rest of the desk is pretty normal. And cool. uh, is the Warforged still distracted? You still chatting him up? Are you still chatting him up? Oh. Like, as I, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Look over my shoulder, you're still reading? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, and then, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, so, oh, my God, that's crazy that he would say that. Roll <laughs> a... a religion. <laughs> I'm going to say roll a persuasion or deception of your choice to try to keep uh, Wallace distracted. Fuck! That doesn't sound good. Shut It's an 18. Why did you go fuck? <laughs> because I didn't roll very well, but um, I can't roll below a 10 anyway. Okay. Amazing. Eloquence part. <laughs> I can't I knew that going in. You're fine. I <laughs> um, don't get salty in the comments. <laughs> Do it, bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, keeping him distracted. Um, just... Are you just asking more questions? Like, how are you keeping him distracted? Yeah, so I'm well, I, I'm asking about each of the, like, artifacts, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, oh yeah, so like, when did he get this? Or like, mm -hmm. oh, did he say anything about that? Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, it's crazy. And then, if I run out of artifacts, mm -hmm. I'm divulging to, you know, you know so much! I mean, that's ins Like, is there anything that, like, you just don't remember? Like, do you have, like, an eidetic memory? Just, like, really hey, trying my best. Where, where we need comes to Warforged, depending on the model, some of us are built in with sort of a steel trap mind, as they like to call it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to toot my own horn. But it is a... I, I am the butler, I am to bottle and tend to do the Lord and Lady of the house, and mm -hmm. I listen in to some of their grievances and some of their interests when it comes to uh, Lord Irdunin and his various tourisms, uh, tourisms mm -hmm. or uh, Lady Irdunin and her various things. Her very what? Studies. Studies? Yes. Oh yeah, I heard her talking about the, um, oh, what did she call it? The, 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 the Empire or something? The Kani Empire. The, the, the ancient goblinoids. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like she really knew a lot about her. She is a very well-learned woman. She uh, studied at Morgrave University in the histories, primarily. Oh, um, really? Old money, but they ended up using that money for various expeditions in order to retrieve various artifacts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I see that this empire is like really close uh, to her part. Yes, surprisingly. Does yes. she have like family from there? Like, is she like a descendant of? Well, the Tikani Empire was all goblinoids, mm -hmm. and they she got destroyed like eight thousand years ago. Yeah, you never know. So I don't know if there was any people within the empire that were mm -hmm. long lost descendants. I know she is half elf. For all I know, that other half is Hobgoblin. Right? I mean, you never know. I'm gonna look over my shoulder, see that you're putting the journal back. You know, do you ever have any free time? I... Mm, it, well, I tend to the uh, the estate, and though my free time is very limited, I could potentially ask Lord or Lady Irvine for some bit of reprieve at some point. Well, that's... Um, I'm just saying because, and then she, like, pulls out, like, her, like, business card, yeah. which is just, like, her, like, stage name, right? and, like, the club on it, yeah. and, like, and, like perform, coin. yeah, exactly, you know, like, performing <laughs> on, like, at, you know, Slippery yeah. Point on these three days, three yeah. days a week or something. Right. Like, right. It's my DJ set. There's a business card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, if you ever um, find yourself having some time off, or maybe you just want to get out of this stuffy old estate, um, you know. You can always um, show that to the to the bouncer at the door and watch in. You can you, you can come and watch me perform. It is very tiny in his massive fingers. <laughs> yeah. But he holds it and he like opens up his little uh, breast side pocket and just tucks it in there. And thank you very much, Miss Scarlet. And I oh will... please, you can call me Hannah. Thank you very much, Miss Hannah. I should I see some free time, I may come to partake of the entertainment. You absolutely should. And there's typically a cover, but if you show that to them, you won't have to pay anything. You just walk right in. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, you're doing great. Well, and she looks over and you're done. And you're, like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, well, I feel like that's uh, all I needed in here. I really just wanted to 
you know, observe the okay. Are you good? I've seen everything I need to, yes. Oh, okay, lovely. Well, thank you so much. I feel like we're all good here. Is there anything else you think we should kind of take a look at? I, it, it, that was... In your the, professional uh, opinion. That was what was going here in the private study. I do not know if you wish to see the guest bedrooms or any other staff quarters within the house. It is up to you in those regards. Um, I well, I'm not sure I what... What do you think? I think I'm uh, quite satisfied with the information I've gathered. Okay. Well, I am unsure what uh, the lady you're doing is currently up to. As we pivot to Adonis and Chase. Oh, we just see this all the time. Rich husbands just leave one day and go off with their mistresses. You know, we've made a whole career of detecting these things. You know, and you <laughs> said day. that it was money laundering, that you, no, no questionable out, he didn't leave in the middle of the night. He doesn't have a tavern, no time, so it could be one of your staff members. He might not even be leaving the house. Hey, whole thing on lockdown. We right finished the same oh, thought. A woman like we have to get to the bottom of this, and I'm like trying to stir her up now. I want her to be like, oh no, right? Like, can I get emotional heightened reactions out of her? Sure thing. Yeah. Um, are you using any magic to assist you in this, or is this I just purely wordplay? Purely wordplay. All right. I will cast message to you. Yeah. And be like, what are you doing? Like, what's wrong with this? What's up? <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. <laughs> yes. 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 And. <laughs> oh, well, I, message. I can say something back. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a tonic that could help her, or me? Sure. What you mean? Either make this debuff her or buff me. But basically, a, a, my original plan was to get her to be like, frazzled, oh no, oh, perhaps my yeah, Chase can make you a drink. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can debuff her at all. Yeah. If you don't use spell slots unless it's really going to work, but mm -hmm. just right. give her a little alcohol. Maybe my nice persuasion check doesn't make it. I have just plain alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a shot of whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you have any elixirs in your conscience? I, 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 I would rather you just give her alcohol and tequila. a special mixology. Perception or persuasion of your choice in order to try to influence her emotions. Do you want to message her? Like, what kind of book are you in for? Uh, that is a 7. I rolled a 7. 14. I do not know what's behind there. <laughs> <laughs> the just give her alcohol. Just, just give her uh, I will. I will reach into my coat and like kind of backhand and toss you like a yeah. shot that's like pre-made, wrap, that kind of thing, but it's a deep red liquid. I'm like, let me eat it. And oh. then for her... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay! Yeah, I'm just like out leading her with like this alcohol. Like, as she yeah, is just, like, the frazzled the at this point and just kind of like, who would he even go to? There's, there's, and sure, there's like, other staff, but he wouldn't be doing that with like, Lucille. Just, like, I just, I just, yeah, he's, he's not even Wallace, is he? Me. Talk oh, to me. Who's this Lucille? Uh, uh, Lucille, the, uh, the, 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 our accountant. She handles all the finances. Oh, um, Lucille, yeah. I remember she was writing down the address. I mean, a, a pretty name, not as pretty as Melody, of course, but. I, I appreciate that, but I, there's. No, he wouldn't do And then as we get to. She's only barely here, but oh god. Yeah, exactly. She's only barely here. Secret trust. As she leads you into the bedroom, opens the door, and at this point she just immediately goes to the bed with like. Yes! Head in her hand. You look like you could use a little. That's the drink for him. That was for you. That's for you. Oh no! I'm like. Might be Dece fireball. <laughs> Deception <laughs> or persuasion of your choice. I literally just needed a drink. <laughs> yep. That was the one that you gave us for a bump. For a deep. I am trying to make it as easy for you to say anything. Christian, what is that? Uh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Deception. Sixteen. Sixteen. Good. 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 <laughs> as uh, just uh, oh. Um, Sure. Yeah, what, what, wait, what's in this? Oh, just like a um, fireball. <laughs> uh, gosh, I don't remember. I got so many. Cheers, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, it's Aperol. Let's get tight. But let me, let me make you a custom. It's absent. Um, Maybe um, like Merlot or whatever. As, as she sets down the yeah, other drink on like a little fair. platter on the back. Right. Right. Now I got Chase making her a drink. She's focused on Chase. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be like, oh my god, all these girls he could be sleeping with, right? Like. Yeah, all these women or men, she 
is also mentioning Wallace yeah. the Warforged Butler. Yeah, I'll be like, he's Wallace the Butler. I'll add names to that. You know what I mean? I'll just yeah. give her as many names as possible. Like, You're gonna go the head maid. Just do what Who's we the need. Here? Yeah, I'm gonna go, go do what I need to do as a detective. Mm -hmm. uh, but you sit here and we'll come back to this conversation. I'm going straight to that closet because I do know she's never been in his sock drawer. Fair enough. <laughs> I know it. Alright. Yeah, so I'm actually gonna do my job first and just be like, I detected clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she already found the journal. Right. Um, investigation of your choice. Alright, okay, it's getting cold. I need a new scarf. Uh, 12 plus 1. Advantage. Nice. 13. Advantage. 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 The DC no. was okay. lowered yeah. because she's distracted. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, Looking through like his sock drawer. Um, so I'll tell you, I'm looking for evidence. I'm yes. looking for shiny cufflinks. His watch drawer. Right. Uh, any of the sort of valuables. See if there's any extra gifts in there or anything like that. You do see a couple of like nice little watches. What seems to be a like a nice leather band with yeah, what yeah, looks yeah. to be a sort of a sort of like s uh, a circular like um, silver dial okay. in the middle okay. with like a red Eberron shard. Beautiful. Um, and it seems to like almost minor illusion out some like little numbers. Beautiful. Like, what the time and is. I got is another thing is I'm assuming like does he have like a row of shoes? Yes, there's the a row shoes. of shoes in the closet. Does do they look like they would fit me? More importantly, are they my size? Are they my size? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Like he's, like he's of medium build. He, yeah, he I'm gonna like, look at my size. shoes and like look at his, and I'm gonna take mine off. Put them there. Put his shoes on, and then try to pocket a watch. So if you want to slide a hand, I can do whatever you need. But those are the two things I'm gonna do. Slide a hand. Close the <laughs> She's distracted at the moment. Twenty. That's right. Twenty six. Twenty six. Twenty six. <laughs> just like, just in case, little flare. No, that's yeah. absolutely a thirty. <laughs> right. One that one. Um, check. Uh, yes. Uh, you don't just slide on some like nice fancy shoes. Like you pocket like a little watch in there. You see what looks. I'm like not gonna wear the watch. The watch is no, going. No, 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 no. Like you're just pocketing it. Yeah. Like you're just taking it. The shoes are going on. My shoes are going in that spot. Yeah, obviously. Um, you see within like uh, you also check like a couple of like other coat pockets. See if there's like any shiny cufflinks and like extra jewelry or anything in there. You do find like a couple of nice pairs of cufflinks. Um, I would say you, as a pickpocket, can probably just estimate yeah. how valuable certain things are. The cufflinks are like 25 gold. Um, the watch you pocketed, easily 100. <laughs> These are hoity-toity folks. Um, oh, that is so devastating, my dear. We're getting to the bottom of this. Um, and even in that like first drawer you check you see like a couple of magazines for like some health benefits or like things yeah, like, okay. has, like, <laughs> like various health journals of some regard there's also like up and coming entertainers of Sharn things of that yep. nature you see like a name on the front called Red God and Maestrodon <laughs> on like yep. the front cover is just cool. ideas cool so uh, once I'm done with stealing I would come out I'm like yep yeah, dear looks like he's just gonna leave you wouldn't find any evidence chase time to go <laughs> Prayers! Sorrows! 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 Well, my partner here is saying is that we'll get to the bottom. Sleepers! We'll know for sure. We'll know for sure. Yeah. And this entire time you were just mixing a drink? Or are you also yeah, having a yeah, conversation? I, 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 did, I do my thing where I make it very performative. We're like, woo, you know, toss it over here. Shakes it. It's just so cool. But it's just like, Woman. really Head in hands! Head in yeah, like, hey, yeah, hands, hands on her pressure. bed. You're doing, doing fucking margarita that's, flips. That's become a trend now. Is people airing the red ones? So yeah, she wants. I don't she know just wanted a reload, but I'm gonna make it perform to make her eyes. You know, on me, like a carpet. So that she's not looking over there. She's like, yeah, woo, here comes the. It's, here's nice. Sure, like. Roll me a performance check. Add proficiency with your brewer's supply if you are not already proficient in performance. Uh, I one. Yeah. Get in the fucking box. Get in the fucking box. I have to just twice. That's a cool. Oh no. Uh, eleven. Maybe so thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah, you're you're following the re the uh, order that you were essentially given. Like you know, give yeah, her a merlot. It was some yeah, fancy tricks. I see. 
<laughs> you're in the closet and I'm like, hey, let's like, make it big. Let's make it big over here. Look at the oh, madness. Look at what I can do to it. We're low. You don't see her just trying on the shoes. <laughs> she's simultaneously focusing on you, but she also like sort of dissociates yeah, every once in a while. And she's thinking of more people in the house just kind of like, this is gonna be oh, even worse man. if she thinks it's Wallace. It's not the groundskeeper, is it? Oh, we've had it happen before. <laughs> really? Oh, we, should, we gotta look at everybody. I wanna know where you're getting, getting these like case like, statistics. <laughs> like, is this like shitty hey, straight up? I thought like, Charlotte it up. I don't have statistics. Said, I've never, <laughs> I've never nice... seen a case in my life. Anyway, that's a nice argument, Senator. Let me see your sources. My sources that I made it the fuck up. Um, actually, my golf swing, anyway. <laughs> I'll watch this crowd. <laughs> was sure enough distracting her with the little yeah. performance he got going on. Yeah. Um, a couple of, like, mixes in there, aired out of Merlot. You, like, I, I, do you I hand it to her or put it on, like, a little platter on the side? Because she's, as I walk by, you're, like, rabbit and down it. Bitch! <laughs> Time to go. I just take out a little low and give it to her. fucking bottle. <laughs> she just sort of shakily takes it yeah. and just. Honestly, it is. Yeah, my, my plan is a. I'll see uh, you yeah. straight, yeah. straight from the low bottle. See you later tonight. Alright, let's get this. Alright, we're on the case only, but we'll take you of it. I'm looking at the war for and you're convincing her easily. <laughs> <laughs> Which is gonna be great when we rejoin and I share my information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Like, oh my god, yes, he's totally been totally done. But what the fuck was that? <laughs> At this point, herpes. the other groups start making their way down the steps out of the other private studies. You have brought back Jericho from that little service tunnel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you doing as everyone starts meeting back up? Did I ever get that address for Lucio? Yes, you did get an address for Lucille. Um, it is at a house civis outpost in... <laughs> it is a house civis outpost within Middle North Edge. You have been given a specific address that you can go to for Lucille de Civis. Lucille de Civis. Lucille de Civis. You're welcome. You can combine that. That's crazy. And was there anything else you were doing in the meantime while these discussions and when we first were intrusions in, were happening? When we first came in, she was sitting at a desk. Yes, there was a small desk. Like this was basically her study, essentially. Mm -hmm. I'm going through that. Yeah, going through there is um, various other um, just. Papers on the accounting, that seems to be the main thing that she had going on, like on the top of her desk. Mm -hmm. um, going through the other, like, desk drawers, you find research papers, for the most part. Uh, various historical um, sources being brought up, a lot of them sourced from Wargrave University. Um, you, uh, it's a lot of, it's, it's kind of dull. It's a lot of academia, a lot of academia and finances. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly focused on the finances, because I'm like, I need to see where this money's going. Sure thing. Um, in that case, roll me an investigation check. Mm -hmm. Or insight check of your choice. To try to make sense of what's going on. Yeah, I'll go investigation. Uh, the uh, 13? 13 investigation. Searching through the papers, um, you find what was mentioned earlier, multiple uh, stops by um, what was a shop in the Middle Dura Bazaar uh, that is abbreviated as B. Dot Bits and Bottles. Um, which outpost would you say that you work in for Sharn Watch? Are we talking upper, uh, middle, or lower? Uh, definitely lower. Lower? Okay. I was by no means rubbing elbows with the elite or getting a solid paycheck. I was surviving. Getting an honest paycheck longer. Fair. So... <laughs> Somehow we're <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so seeing a couple of mentions of the Nightshade Tavern mm -hmm. in the sort of Aranol based district in Upper North Edge. Um, but B Bits and Bobbles, the abbreviation, like, sure, just trying to put in, like, all the letters is a little much, but you do remember a few times having to go to a shop in Lower Dura mm -hmm. called Birdie's Bits and Bobbles. So that's potentially what you're doing. Maybe there was like another stall that was paid, put out in the middle district for more sales or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but you do know that that was a sort of wondrous item shop selling jewelries or clothing. Like you're not going to see weapons or armor there, but you're going to see a lot of like casual wear or just like, you know, um, small little things. All the common magic items are there frequently, and a couple of uncommon. Mm -hmm. But, you know, things like um, bracelets of gleaming. Essentially, just like, oh, cool, a nice bracelet that never gets dirty. Or a cape of billowing. Just dramatic Batman in the background. That's where I got my uh, shape-shifting <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's where you get your trinkets, like shape-shifting yeah. nicotine or shift weave or things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also a couple of, like, little fun toys or other little, like, minor magic items like that. Like a gambler's dice or card set or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every, you can't recall if any of those had, like, dragon shards specifically in them, or they were mostly just artificer names. But if he's going to these places and he had an interest in dragon shards, potentially. You just don't remember seeing any in like the main shop area. Okay. Well, that's my lead. Cool. Alright. And everybody meets back up in like the main hall area. Mm -hmm. And you share the information with each other. What does everyone say as everyone meets back up? Are you, are you still in a rush to get out, you two? Yeah, like once we meet all of all. Yeah, are, 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 are you still is it just uh, is it just Wallace now? Yeah. Uh, uh, just Wallace would be with you guys right, as well. um, Lady yeah. Erdunen is currently in the bedroom. I'm probably gonna shoot Woo! a confused look because like we're the, the ladies. Um, but just she's a she's a break. I can't believe that motherfucker. I gave my life all my whole best time though. Anyways, uh, Mr. Wallace will be in touch. Uh, of course, uh, Miss Andrews. Is there anything else I can get for everybody here? Any other rooms to look at, or perhaps a glass of water? I, I think we're just fine, thank you. We should get going. Have get there now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stay in touch. Very well. Yeah, please allow me to escort you outside as Wallace will lead you out to the front gate. Um, uh, I think this would be most prevalent to everybody but uh, Adonis. You can see in like the upper window of the estate as you guys are walking out the main pathway to the front gate, you can just see Lady Erdunen just like pacing back and forth through this some of the poor windows. Woman. I'm just holding on this holding a full <laughs> bottle of wine. Oh boy. What did you do? Don't even look at me with all dying over you. Went to the bedroom? We snooped around for clues? We didn't find anything, unfortunately. Oh, and you got some new shoes and a new watch and some cufflinks that you didn't What? Like you now. don't these? see the watch or cufflinks. I'm sorry. And, and you got some new shoes? What? These? Just a little, way too shiny. A little bit of a minor illusion. Mm -hmm. uh, or to uh, look the part if I'm snoozing up to uh, Miss What's Her Name. Is that it? No, I'm just to? Yeah! Alright, let's see. Alright, well, let's <laughs> yeah. Anything we learn that's gonna help us here. Well, I'm pretty sure that's uh, harpies. I saw I was. Excuse me? Or something. Some sort of STI? Probably. STD? Okay. Soon as we're the, man, the man's not cheating on his wife. Are you sure? I'm quite sure I found his journal. You found his black box. Well, all right. Well, let's see what else we got here. So, uh, he uh, started taking visits to the lower circles as a tourism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, and yeah. met in with somebody named uh, no, Maestradon, whoever the hell that might be. What I know? What I, what I, what do we know? Who would know? Who would know? I would know, and I can't say it. Make a history check. You get advantage. I get advantage because I know this is what. Fuck it. Eighteen. Taking my shit. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. What am I doing? 13. History. Yes, mm -hmm. but you get it with advantage, because you would run in the same circles as this person. Mm -hmm. You may or may not have met them, depending on your role. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. The elevens for eleven. Performer. Some <laughs> stupid street thug name. I don't know. People come up with. Dumb fucking names for themselves. I know, but I can't say what I know. <laughs> yeah, just a performer. <laughs> you two with the thirteens. That name vaguely rings a bell from the club clawfoot situation y'all were a part of. He was supposed to perform that night before <gasps> everything forgot. blew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your buddies. <laughs> Uh, 19, you said? I had a good back Yes. 19 and a 22. You two. 18. Sure thing. Um, yeah. With an 18, best you can conjure up in your brain, upcoming performer. As that was written in the journal, um, there's sort of a, sort of a pattern when it comes to Meister Don performances, is that People just don't remember the performance, but they remember having a good time. So, like, they can't remember any of the songs. They can't remember what the dude even fully looked like. Well, that's not great. Um, they just remember that they had a great time, and the club was kind of rowdy. But that's most of what they remember. 22, you met this guy off stage. Mm -hmm. Still had a stupid fucking elephant mask on the entire time. Mm -hmm. um, however, you also just don't remember the songs he played. Mm -hmm. But you know that they were within the same vibe mm -hmm. of same, music. Like, underground. New, underground music. new yeah. type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't... It's not the music you play, but you. there's a vibe to it that rings similar. Um, and you've only seen him, really? Like, you've tried to strike up a conversation? Fuck it, aloof. Does it really talk? No, not really. Um, but most of it, you remember? Small-sized man, stupid fucking elephant mask. Like it's Did he have any, like, um, like, dialect or, like, a, like an accent or anything like that when he spoke? Or like, wait, wait, if he did speak, we'd be like, no. Yeah, insight check. That's me. I'm going to say at disadvantage, because this is you coming off of memory. Okay. 16. 16. Double digit. There, <laughs> there is an accent. You vaguely remember something of an accent. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot more Eastern. Mm -hmm. Um, It kind of pops into your head that... It's the same type of accent you've heard of some halfway immigrants mm -hmm. that come into shop. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the ones who work for Barmar Plant. Mm -hmm. um, specifically from the Talenta Plains. Mm -hmm. um, so your best guess? Probably a halfling under there. Hmm. in your head at that moment. I think I, w I would have made it um, earlier, right? Oh, no, 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 because I was just now. Yeah, I think, I think she would have been like... I don't think you... I think maybe the only person who would have been able to like catch it, if anything, you know, like notice anything different would be a doctor if you gave, gave a shit to look. <laughs> you know? Do you give a shit to look? All the other people... 
Yeah. Well, my whole deal is people. <laughs> Yeah. Knowing people, people have secrets. I think listen to people. So I'm just. I think. I think the thing is, you say Masson, and then she rolls her eyes, and I think that's okay. like the most you guys can say. Okay. Yeah. He got a tangled in with this guy named uh, Maestradon. Starts partying, meeting a whole bunch of new people, mm -hmm. and then one night he gets drunk, wakes up in an estate he doesn't recognize. Who's estate? Doesn't recognize. Doesn't say. So he doesn't leave. And then, like, write down where he was. Nope, he just uh, wrote down that he's got some funny rash, and the uh, only way to fix it is going back to this estate. And he thinks he's being tailed, probably by a uh, Boromar clan. How convenient. I wonder how much the price is. Probably those uh, missing lunches we got there. I don't want to say we basically uh, solved two, you know, both of them at the same time, but. Uh, I feel like we've got the information. We've certainly got a pretty good lead. Certainly enough information, at least on the uh, cheating husband account. You said he's been to this estate a couple times then getting treatment. You've got to be in a dress somewhere unless you didn't write down. Does he not know? He might just have it memorized, or he's followed his he down or... to get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be. Or he just doesn't want to leave it behind. Well, he's out now. Where do we think he is right now? Try to jail him. Wallace did say that at roughly this time he would be in the Aranol area and then probably making his way down to the sort of bazaar yeah. in uh, Middle Dura. Yeah, I don't know. The bazaars. He's probably in the bazaars. Wallace was telling me all about it. Oh, okay. Well, I say we head down there until we can find him. Sure. Watch him. Sure. And then we tell him and we become the people who are watching him. And then we watch the people who are watching him. Yeah. Let's maybe be a little careful this wake up in somebody else's house with a rash that only they can treat sounds a little dangerous. Yeah, it sounds a lot like someone's had a really, uh, a too much to drink, uh, stuff with the wrong person, and it has to go to the clinic. What if that rash is even real? You think you have a fake rash? What does that mean? If he goes to that house for treatment, what if they just... Maybe they're causing the rash, rash. And then they're like, okay, well, it'll be west of the week, and they're like, okay. Every week that you write down. And, 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 and no, oh, that's a great business. I write that down. Yeah. Right You're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> so don't you dare. You are the Robin of my Batman, and you don't even know it. <laughs> the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh, Robin's right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> are you talking about? Are there bad people around the show? Kind of like that. All right, let's go. Let's go find this guy. Stare at you, guys. Are we going in gentle or are we going in hot on this guy? Yeah, so let's just go to the bazaar. It's a bazaar. Let's yeah. go shopping. Let's go shopping. The gentle pants. <laughs> well, Ruby, I wish you the best of luck. I'm going to have to make a few calls and see if I can dig up something on my head. Have fun watching them. I'm going to walk <laughs> off, uh, try to hail a cab. Oh, okay. how surprising. He's Where... in the middle of a case. Where are you trying to go, Robin? I'm going to go talk to my criminal contacts. Yeah. Sounds yeah. fun. I'm going to see if the mob knows anything about Howard. All right. Ooh. Seeing as how Howard seems to be uh, conducting illegal business, might as well go to the illegal business people, <laughs> who I happen to have it in with through debt. Speaking of uh, criminals, is there anywhere that I need to be that's not <laughs> right here? Your 20-minute set time? Do you? I don't know. You can talk have you made any plans? I don't Any know. hits? You have a shift at the diner? <laughs> no, no, no. She works. She works the the, the graveyard shift at the diner. Because mm -hmm. it's during the day right now. Yeah. 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 All your personalities are night. When yeah. You it, it's roughly noon mm -hmm. at this point. When do you sleep? Uh, I don't. <laughs> between the hours of six to eleven a.m. <laughs> Unless the birds wake me. With the aid of hard <laughs> drugs. Yeah, and lots of caffeine. Amazing. Need to take a couple of hits of Dream Lily. It's just like, oh, it's a real good just. <laughs> <laughs> yep, out, out for five hours and then wakes right up and starts it all over again. Sound like a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything mm, anywhere anybody needs one. to be, right? Let me let me check my shared Google calendar. Well, it's already high from this drug. No, you're good there. Oh, you changed the blue. You're good there. No, I didn't. It's no. just my friend Renee. Bang. Oh wow. <laughs> I don't know, I think you're... So, yeah. What's everyone's plan right now? Sounds and like you guys went down to the bazaar. I guess we'll meet up with him later. Sure. Let's go down to the bazaar. 
Bizarre? Yeah. No, 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 no. There's something going on. Cool. Yeah. Um, right? There's gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be Past? What is it? Love us? There is no specific what? jobs you need to right. do right now. Mm-hmm. I get that. Hannah, whatever. I'll actually go down and kind of look at the bizarre. Like, <laughs> where you do that to me. It's like, like a common marketplace. A That's lot of people true. go there. That's true. I'll just go as Hannah for now. Okay. And then I might disappear and change to Slice because Hannah doesn't go to bizarre. Fair enough. All right. So you for taking a cab or walking? She's um, walking. Is it close? The bazaar is like an hour walk, like two yeah. hours to get there. You guys there. are insane. Yeah. <laughs> I take walk. Yeah. 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 I'm a homeless charlatan. I don't have money for a cab. Okay. I don't take okay. cabs. Okay. I, Adonis, Adonis. I'm Adonis. buying you a cab. Oh my god, I have such a funny idea. Can I do it real quick? She's gonna go. Oh, you know, I do. I have. Uh, I, you know what? You stay right here. I'll be right back. And then she's gonna walk into like an alleyway, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? Wait like five minutes. Okay. Turn into slice. <laughs> turn into slice. <laughs> and walk I'm gonna say roll me a stealth check. Which one did she roll? So passive perception. Have any bonus? <laughs> that that that's what I'm that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Fair enough. <laughs> exactly. Everyone but Adonis has a 17 or higher on this. He's like, hey, wait, what? 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 Mm-hmm. Who's this fucking guy? Going? We gotta wait. That, that's kind of what happens, where it's just like, you go into the alleyway. Any common bystander is not going to look down an alleyway. Mm-hmm. You say, I'll be right back, go down there. You don't come back, somebody else does. Mm-hmm. So what's this guy look like? Uh, slice. He is super hot. Um, <laughs> that's kind of the point. So he has, like, uh, he's covered, like, tips of fingers to, like, up here, uh, covered in tattoos. He has, like, facial tattoos. He's, like, a centipede over here and, like, a knife over here or something like that. Really short, um, same color hair, bright red hair, um, as uh, she does. Uh, and he's wearing, like, a white, like wife beater tank top with like a like an open non buttoned white uh, button down and like black skinny jeans hmm. and like you know boots or something like that. Just a slutty. He got a name tag. He got a name tag. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, hold on. Really hot. <laughs> he's really hot. I only make hot characters. He's really hot. That's important. Hold on. Just a moment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 We got physical yeah. props yeah. for a reason. Don't change. Don't change. No pressure. How are we to watch? No, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. As this is happening, Slice. I keep calling Slice. It's Splice. So it's just like Spleen. Spleen. It's not. Nice to meet you, Spleen. Spleen. Splice walks out. Instead. Costume change. I love it. I'll be like, what? <laughs> this is our friend. Yeah, so, so Splice is just gonna walk out and like, Oh, hey, I didn't know you were gonna be here, darling! Oh, well, you know. Oh, man, man, what are you doing over here? Oh, we're just walking. Oh, he's walking? Where are you walking to? Let me go. Oh, we gotta wait for Hannah. Huh? Who's I can't. Hannah? Hannah's a friend of ours. They'll catch up in a bit. Well, they, oh, well, I think we all gotta find them. We gotta go to get them. We're gonna get them. Oh, I'm gonna get her. No, <laughs> she can... She can handle herself. Let's just get down to the bar. Yeah, we are taking a cab. Okay. Taking a cab. Shotgun. How fancy. <laughs> we'll see if the carriages work. Nope. Don't even. <laughs> I don't take them. What do you mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Who's paying for this cab? You want to split it? This I, is a job. It's paid oh. for. Okay. Well, yeah. You fancy pants over here. Are you guys going to the bazaar? Yeah. I'm going right there too. Let's go together. If you would like, roll a deception versus your person's insight, both yeah. of you. I don't If want you would to. like to. I don't want Well, I, 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 actually, I wouldn't think to. I'd rather you didn't. I, did, I, if, did I see the change? No. You saw them go down an alley and somebody with the exact same hair color come out. That is me. I'm, I'm going to, to like, I don't even care. She had a left. This is a weird friend of Donnie's because of course it is. Okay. 
Right, you, you As to... you guys... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go try to find Hannah. I'm gonna go to the alleyway and be like, Hannah! Hannah's gone. Oh god, she said she'd be right back. She said she'd be right back. It's been like five, She knows minutes. where we're going. She knows where we're going. She misses us. That's her problem. What did you job say? She'd be right back and then leave. Oh. What are you talking about the light I passed in the, in the alleyway just now? She said she was going to work. What are you talking about? She bumped into me and everything. She said she'd be right back and went to work? Mm -hmm. What the heck? I bumped the in, she bumped into me and I said, hey, where the fuck do you think you're going? And she's like, I'm going to work. As this conversation is happening, somebody is hailing down a cab. You guys are heading over to the bazaar. Yes. We will focus in on Robin. Where are you trying to go for your criminal contact? Upper, middle, or lower district? Probably Ronde. lower. All right. That's where most of the journal stuff happened. Yeah, that's mainly where he's going for the bazaar. That's where the birdie thing is. That's where the club would be. Got a lot of places lower wise. Mm -hmm. uh, the bazaar is middle district. I will say that much. It's in the same. It's in the same quadrant as the club clawfoot, but it's like one level up. Mm. Well, lower still probably better. Yeah. yeah that's where. So the crimes are going to be, you know, you're not going to be based on the same place you do the crime. Mm -hmm. So, the crime. <laughs> you head into the lower what? district. Mm -hmm. What criminal contact are you trying to find for which mafia? Mm. Mm. The one you're in debt to? Or are you trying to go for somebody else? Because there are information brokers in town, and you would know where at least some of them operate due to your city watch background. I think I would go... Probably a fence. A fence? Yeah, probably trying to look for a fence to see if this guy's dealing in any kind of stolen goods or unique goods. You know, if you're trying to get rid of something that's not yours or mm -hmm. acquire something that's not yours, that's who you're going to talk to. And if I can't get any good information out of the fence, I'm going to try and just go down the line and see if I can narrow it down a little bit, you know? Fair enough. You do know a sort of independent fence, Birdie, from Birdie's Bits and Bobbles. Mm. Oh, so, you know, the fact that it's just there oh, seems like suspicious as fuck. Mm -hmm. But you head down into Birdie's Bits and Bottles. Um, as you enter this little storefront, um, there's multiple shelves with, like, and a couple of, like, clothing racks with, like, various, like, minorly enchanted clothings and uh, jewelry sets and, um, like, other adornments. Uh, over to one side. It's the es it's essentially Magic Goodwill. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. A, a small... Place. It is a magic thrift store, is the best way I can describe it. Do they have, like, random assortment of potions in the corner that are... Clear? Absolutely. <laughs> unclaimed. Absolutely. Unclaimed. There's no labels. Unclaimed, unlabeled I can't potions. take credit for that. It's on TikTok. No. <laughs> can't take credit for that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, as soon as I walk in, the hat comes off respectfully. I put out my cigarette. I tell Jericho to you know go play, but you know keep it respectful. Don't mess things up. So mm -hmm. you know Jericho has to run off and lay down in the sun or something like that, and they can. But there, there is a small area uh, within the store that has like a couple of like pet beds. Oh. Jericho immediately goes to one of those that looks like a little dragon horde. Naturally, naturally, just. Fluffy coins? Yes, it's fluffy coins as pillows. There's a shop my mom used to take me to for when she did like quilting stuff that had like a kid corner and it would be like, yes, like <laughs> right in there. Well this is the dragon corner. The dragon yep. corner. Yeah, that, that's the pet corner. A little four by four um <laughs> oh, as yeah. it's a relatively small uh thrift store. Um there's only one person behind the counter right now, a hobgoblin individual in what looks to be a Decent vest and like white button up. Um, nice presenting hair. It's very. It's casual nice, we'll say. Mm. The equivalent of working like a fucking uh, minimum wage job, where it's mm. kind of like you have to have a uniform and look nice, but like no one's gonna give a shit if your shirt's untucked. Mm. Mm. That's it. Hello there. How can I help you? May I see Birdie? Birdie. Ah, apologies. Birdie's currently out at the moment. Uh, is there anything I can 
help you in the meantime. Just wanted to ask a few questions. I'm on a, I'm on a case. I just need to get some uh, some insight. You know, some insight. I'm so right. trusted and wise, baby. All right. Give me a second. I'll see if I can uh, get in contact with him for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just like, please wait here one second. As this individual like pulls out a message stone, mm -hmm. um, it. How everyone likes to use sending stones, but <laughs> a more accurate spell for it. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, rocky yeah, rocky talkie. Oh, <laughs> rocky talkie. It pulls out a little rocky talkie, <laughs> gets onto it, and like pulls to the side a little bit, so it's like not actively like you know within earshot, but still gets on the call and just kind of like. Uh, as he like puts the rock down, just kind of like. So Birdie's currently in the office right now. Uh, if you'd like, I can let you in back there. Actually, that's not fine. <laughs> wow, what did you believe it? They just had an opening. You can believe it. They're free now. Yeah. Um, leading you over to like a small door in the back, uh, employees only. Opens it up for you. As this uh, hobgoblin individual just kind of, uh, like there's only like one room back here, really. There's two rooms with like an archway in the middle. Yeah. So it's like an open concept. To call them rooms is generous. Exactly. Where uh, you see like a bunch of storage and a couple of little workbenches on one side, and then you see through the archway this large bugbear woman in like this sort of like green dress wearing some like goggles and a couple of like just pouches and bandoliers of just stuff mm -hmm. sitting at the desk and just says, Wah, shut the fucking door. Yo, in here. Sets the hat on the desk, takes a seat. Fucking daytime. Funny case, time sensitive. Funny case, time sensitive. Haha, <laughs> I'm not laughing. What do you need? Shit, I, know. <laughs> I understand you appreciate the short answer, so here's the short answer. The short answer is I need everything you can tell me on how it uh Erdunen. 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 Thank you. I know you need that. Hey. Fucking Erdunen, Erdunen, Erdunen. How it. Not, like, not ringing any bells. Feels like antiquities, <laughs> dragon shards. <sighs> As it stands, still married. No, money is family. time, my guy, and you're bringing in a bunch of fucking time right now. Bertie, you know I'm poor as hell. That's why I'm in this business. That's why mm. I did what I gotta do. I could give you an IOU, a favor. Do a little job. Back do a little persuasion little, check. Do a little job for you. Tell me a little something right now. Do I find something? Let's get a dip. That's what I do. I keep digging. The hole can only get deeper. If I can't be the best, I can certainly be the worst. Uh, 17 persuasion. 17 persuasion. As Birdie just kind of like squints, rubs, like just the fucking mane of like bugbear beard essentially, just kind of goes. You doing it? Yeah, okay, I think I know something about the guy. Stopped in here, tried to pick up a couple of items. You know, you, you know how like every restaurant has like a secret menu? You'd be surprised how many thrift shops have the same. Mm. As she goes over to like some of the trunks and like crates in the back, just flips one open. She's real interested in some of this stuff as she pulls out basically an uncommon item. Mm. Um, like, you can tell it's, like, a weird design to it. Like, it's kind of intricate, and it's made out of this weird purplish metal. Mm -hmm. And it's got, like, a sort of, like, dragon shard in the pommel of this, like, short sword, essentially. Okay. Um, just pulls it out and goes, he was kind of interested in some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mostly all these uh, fancy dragon shard shit. Now... To my understanding, he likes to collect. Stop by here, you know, a couple of code words, and uh, you know, the best code word of all, a little bit of uh, extra gold in my pocket. And you know, he's really agreeable guy. Really agreeable. 
agreeable. Weird fucking dress, though. Like, not a, not, not a dress, but like, you know, weird clothes. Like, what's, what's that, what's that one play? What's that one play? Uh, the, 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 the fucking Carnaffy dude with the stupid fucking cloak and the, the bleh, bleh, bleh. Like a vampire? Yeah! Like, it was fucking all decked out in a fucking cloak and shit. With well, the rich, pink, poor people. Talking like a, well, like a rich vampire, like a poor vampire. Yeah, the, 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 the fucking dude with the, the... Nosferatu? Yeah! A little bit of that, a little, like, full covered, but a little bit of a weird fucking deformity going on. I don't know what to call it. He was like favoring like his one shoulder. Like his one arm was like full covered in a cloak but had the other one open. Like I don't know if that's how the rich people look, but I've seen the papers. That's not what they look like in the photos. So it's a little weird. Not what they look like in the You know he's in with any of the gangs? He owes anyone? Uh, owes? That's another question. Um, dude like that? <laughs> Rich motherfucker, knows how to grease my palms, knows that I supply things. Now listen, I'm a little bit in the business of smuggling. But he ain't looking for drugs, so it ain't desk. Um, so my guess? Or, or maybe? He knows somebody who knows me. Delightful. Wonderful. That's my guess. Of course it's Yeah. Isn't that a treat? Sorry. Got better news for you though. Mm. He was planning on picking up something, and he picked it up a little early yesterday. Said it was an emergency. He's looking for some fancy fucking amulet. Like, I think they called it like an amulet of health or something like that. Mm. Amulet, uh, perioptive wound closing, some shit. There's some, some shit that helps the fit physical body, you know, things like that. Yeah. I could make that in my repertoire. I did make it. I got it done early because, you know, I had to work a couple night shifts, but, you know, pays good. Um, came in early for it. Said it was a real emergency. Said it was, his time was running short on something. Mm. I don't know what, but he was kind of looking a little more fugly. I, I don't know how to describe it. I had, like, fucking rashes, some shit going on around his neck. Mm. One on the same one that had the cloak. I see. I see. There's something else, um, hired by the lady, uh, to see what the, you know, what Alan's up to. Money's coming out, money's not going in, she got concerned. She sent three other people after him, you know, investigative types, wanted to see if they could tail him, see if, what they could find out about him. And now those three people are missing. It ain't me. I didn't have nothing to do with it. I assume that. It's not really your MO. It's no. Not, it's not your business. <laughs> I work in items, not people. I'm asking. People ain't cargo. Wondering if you know whose business it is, if you know what I mean. And if you don't want to say any names, I just need to know if they're apprehensive and I can go from there. Mm. Your, your silence could be the answer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll admit, I don't poke really into other people's businesses too much? No, but you got, you got nice ears. You listen to a lot of things, you oh, see a lot of stuff. Thank you. Of course. I do take good care of them. Of course, with eyes as big as yours, I'm sure you could see a lot of stuff. You I, calling me the big bad wolf or something? I'm saying I can get lost in the eyes. Now, Bert, mm. you see a lot? Mr. Cruz. Of course. You see a lot with those big eyes, those big beautiful orbs, you hear a lot with those lovely ears. I know you know something. Big bad wolf over here? What the fuck are you on about? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Persuasion just check. Made that joke. Persuasion or deception check of your choice. <sighs> eh, they use the same bonus. I might as well be genuine. Persuasion. <laughs> Good news, the romance this season is just Birdie the Artificer. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Twelve. With a twelve? Yes. Um, That's sweet. All right. I do have somebody who works my stall over in the middle district in the bazaar. May have seen something. Uh, you'll you'll like them. Uh, weird fucking lizard folk guy. Mm. Good on the payroll. Not, not the best businessman, but you know, when you just need shit sold, reliable. 
Um, go up to him. He might have a little bit more information, but I heard from him a couple of halflings were tailing him. And I think he ended up picking up a cab going up to uh, Upper North, uh, Upper Dura. I don't know. Comes from his fancy little North Edge residential place, comes down here, picks up a couple of things. He was also seen leaving with somebody? This is Howard we're talking about? This is Howard we're talking about. Howard found, like, started schmoozing up somebody, hmm. got a sky coach, went, like, up a, up a district, essentially. Hmm. <laughs> they don't see the schmoozy? It is schmoozy. It was, uh,. Some tourists. Some... I want to say they were from, like, fucking on dare or some shit. Like, they had the fucking fancy mage clothes going on. They weren't local. I short, know that much. Short, tall, scales, feathers. Hey, half-elf. They had the pointy ears. Mm -hmm. um, had a green hair going on. Pretty distinctive. I'll say that much. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, fancy. Got a name, some kind of cat. What are we talking about? I didn't get the pronouns. Hmm. You had to assume the hardware they were packing. <laughs> I don't stare at people's junk. And I don't think my lizard folk associate does that either. I don't know if he's actually invested in anybody like that. I don't know. Probably not my place to ask him as, a, as his boss neither. Um. Yeah. All the fleshies kind of look similar to him unless you got weird colored hair. Green hair. Fair enough, I'll ask him. Alright, I suppose that'll do for now. You've been incredibly helpful, of course, and I will be in contact with that favor I owe you. Yeah, yeah, no. It's all this communication hey, right now. If this Mr. here Doonin is doing some shady shit, if you'd be willing to slide back one of the items that I sold to him so I could just pawn it off on some other Porsche Muck, I'd appreciate it. I'll see if I can get my hands on something like yeah. that. That, uh, that Perry at the wound closure thing he had going on. You can't bring that. that. Yeah. Bring that back to me. I can probably give that to somebody else. I'll see if I can. I'll, I'll apprehend it, you know, confiscate it under police yeah, investigation. Yeah, yeah, God investigation. Do your pig shit. Of course, of course. Who else is going to slop around in the mud? <laughs> yeah, it's your job, piggy boy. Take the hat, put it on as I leave. Signal to Jericho that we're out. I just head on out as soon as I'm outside of her shop, light up, and I'll probably head to the bazaar and see if I can intercept these people. Sounds good. And with that, after that brief conversation, are you taking Sky Coach or Carriage? Sky Coach is faster. I'll probably have to be Sky Coach then because I'm going up a level and I want to get there. You know, trying to get there as fast as I can to catch these four who have gone there straight away. Yep. Hmm. So, I think we will end this session with you pulling out the sky coach, flying into Middle Dura outside the bazaar, hmm. at roughly the same time you guys in your little carriage ride over pull up outside of where the bazaar is stationed. In whatever sort of chaos within the carriage happens in there as you try to take out... Where the fuck did Hannah go? She said she'd be back. She said she'd Why'd she say that? Can I retcon and say that she she said, oh shit, I gotta go to work? Because I just realized how dumb that is for her to say that. And I'm like, she wouldn't have said I'll that. I'll be back in That's two so seconds. <laughs> and then change personality. I'll be back. I'll be back in two seconds. Fades into the background. Never. <laughs> sure, we can retcon that. It makes more sense. Because I'm like, ah, she, yeah, she got over work, of course. It happens all the time. She works a lot. <laughs> Look, Ooh. it's been a long day, and it's going to get even longer. People say things. I am distrustful <laughs> of this random new person, but also... <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> a little bit, but... <laughs> but <laughs> well, it's funny, you said that that's a whole job. Because Fantastic. You pay work it. You pay him to be hot. <laughs> Speaking of hot, Jesus Christ, I wore this entire coat all session. I oh, wore that. I was just trying to get it again real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at it again real quick. Oh yeah, the artwork. Yep. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's way better. Oh yeah, we got, we got the Yeah, because this one is like the red. It's all fucked up. My great. Oh.